Ladies and gentlemen, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are at in the world. Hope everyone is having a rather nice Friday so far. I totally didn't have several technical difficulties in a way. In a row, in, in, a, in a way, in a row. Yeah, it's close enough the first time. How is everyone doing? Let's get over here. Oh, straight in there. You already know what we're going to be doing today. You already know what it's going to be about. Let's put this on. Is that loud enough in game? Should be. Where's the video? Oh, yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Wait, I've done this before. Okay. I think that's everything. Hey, there it is. Wait, it's actually working. That's crazy. I can get things to work. No way. Uh, yo, Dariskas, how you doing? Cause the light, what up, Matt? How are you today, Shadio? Shadito, I should say. Uh, yeah, it's that link I sent there for the beta, but I made a little command during the intro just in case people are wondering about it. Golat, what up? The beta is online. Yes, it's been online for about a week now. About a week, yep. And uh, characters beta, nah, bait, the beta is always separate. It'd be kind of a... A bit unfair in a way if you could, you know, play the beta, you get an invite, and then you level up and you get it on live. Do you know what I mean? And Daxos as well. Etch, good morning from the Pacific time zone. That is, uh, that is morning. That is very morning for you, isn't it? You're up bright and early today. Well, I hope you have a good one. Looking forward to a nice weekend, I hope. Excited for the new rage. Yeah, I guess, you know, it's all like new, isn't it? But. It'll be a little bit different. We'll have different patch balancing. It's going to be on 4.34 instead of whatever we were at the time. And I've been, I've been, you know, doing quite a bit of digging in the past into, you know, world first rankings, what people play back then. And uh, a, lo a lot of stuff is very different, you know, like uh, Paragon on their world first rank 25 heroic. Uh, we're playing the Marksman Hunter. And these days, everyone says Marksman is absolutely garbage. Like it's unplayably bad in PvE. And yet the best guild in the world at the time was playing it. So, yeah, um, it's going to be interesting to th see how things shake out on the final patch balance. If you know what I mean. Nick, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Yeah, to you, to you. Grobulous US. Everyone's excited. Grob mob. I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, yeah, invite yesterday. Yeah, they seem to be uh, pretty generous with the invites now. Like, th there wasn't too many people invited initially. Um, but... If you have not got an invite and you would like one, uh, there is the page there where you just need to go and opt in and you should get an invite. Uh, the, the first rounds of invites they did, the, the game was like super buggy. It still is buggy, by the way. Like, the, the amount of stuff they changed in Cataclysm was crazy. Like, they redid everything from Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor. That was like the foundation of WoW in 2004 and they've updated everything. They've like changed the maps, they've updated the quests, they put new items in. Seriously, like the, the amount of effort that must have taken, whether or not people ended up liking it, but the amount of effort that must have taken must have been enormous. So I'm expecting the beta phase for Kata to go on a little bit longer than TBC or Wrath, purely by the volume of content that there is. Everyone that applies, it is a closed beta, so no. Um, but you, you just have to apply and... Hope you get picked, I guess. I, I've seen, like, I, I know loads of people have got in now. You, people seem to be getting in pretty quick once they, uh, once they sign up. Never played Kata. I mean, it's, it's fair enough if you're giving it a go. It is, uh, will be a step up for sure. Uh, do I think this will stretch the classic player base too thin over all the, uh, the errors? That's kind of an interesting question, Paul. Like, it's, um, I, I, what I want to say is, I don't think there's, um, how can I put this? It's no coincidence that Season of Discovery happened now. Because Kata is like a big dividing point for a lot of people. Between, you know, Classic and Beyond Classic. So I think there's going to be... Ooh, the music. I should get interrupted by the music's kind of a banger. Um, but no, there's, there's, I think there'll be different people who will gravitate towards different versions of the game. And the good thing is, no one's really missing out, unless you want TBC or Wrath Era, that is, in which case you are missing out, but apart from that... <laughs> you, uh, you won't be. Hello, Bronlock. 
Hello to you, Governor. Very appropriate, Governor, given that we're playing Morgan. Hope they add fresh servers. I kind of doubt they will after they did a... Uh, what was it in... It was Thekel, wasn't it? Thekel and the, the other one. Oh, Crowy C, what up? Hey, thank you. Yeah, so um, I ha I've been starting on the class videos. The uh, I, I said I'd do the, the Druid one last Tuesday, but I had that like overall class overview video type thingy that I put out, and I thought that, that would be good to get out before I start going into more detail. Um, so the Druid one shall be on Friday, and then depending on how fast release happens, I'll try and do one a week. Uh, but the Druid one's finished, that'll be going out. Wait, Friday's today. The Druid one will be going out today. All right, brilliant. Yeah, Druid one. It's about a 29 minute video. Um, hopefully there'll be some good information in there whether you played Kata before or not. And I've also finished recording the Hunter one this morning. Which will be, uh, depending when it's done, it's, it'll be it'll probably be next Friday. I'll try and do like one a week. Ten classes, two and a half months. Will the game be out before two and a half months? Doubt it. So we'll see, we'll see. Success, what up? Music's fire, it kind of is. I was playing a bit of the Dark Iron Forge music before. The one with the uh, dwarven, like, choir. You know, you know the music that plays in Grim Battle? If you play Kada, you'll know it's... Oh, right, the music's so good. Hello, Boots. Yeah, it's been a minute, hasn't it? I remember. All the way from across many ponds for me. People are expecting to skip and know a lot of staying for it. Yeah, I think... Um, I think... At the end of the day, it is an MMO, and a, a big part of it is playing with your guild or people that you've met, you know. And Classics will be five years old this uh, August. And if you played all the way through with a pretty static group, it'd be and almost kind of strange to just drop it after all that time. Even if, like, the game isn't your favourite thing, you might just enjoy playing with the people. Your brown video? Yeah, I haven't started on the warrior whatsoever. I've done a little bit of digging on them. I have, I have like some idea about classes, but I, I do need to look into it in more detail. Expected release time? No, nothing official, Shep. I'd say uh, June, July, mid June ish. And uh, initially, I was saying early June, but I've seen, I've seen, I've kind of seen the state the beta's in, and I, I think it might take a bit longer now. Hunter's looking incredible. Hunter does go through a lot of changes, yeah. A lot. On, you only want to play the Holy Trinity forever. Forever. I will raid a Lich King forever. I mean, people still do play Classic Era, you know. I think they're missing out not doing Wrath of the Lich King Era, and it wouldn't segment the player base too much. Maybe. Because Classic Era, you got 16,700 people raiding between alts and stuff. I mean, that's it's not bad. Some MMOs don't have this many players <laughs> and they're still going. Yeah, I think Classic players, are, well, not just Classic, but World of Warcraft players, they're used to, they're used to playing the biggest game, you know. They, they, people drop the word dead at the drop of a hat. And yet, this, this is quite a few people, especially when it's a subscription game. Classic Wrath is packed still. Uh, what's Wrath at? 183k. It's, it is tailing off. Yeah, I think this was like holidays or something. Yeah, it was holidays, so that, yeah, this is fine. Um, it is tailing off, but still. It's a decent amount of people, you know? 183k. If 10% of the people stayed and carried on Radio on Wrath, that would be more people than on Classic Era. I don't know. Maybe that seems worth. I've also been reading some things about people being interested in TBC era again and stuff. 
uh, the whole of Kada now will be from the last patch, so MM will be viable from phase one. Uh, my understanding, Martin, is um, unfortunately MM is like unplayable in PV uh, PVE specifically. It, you're, it's going to be Wrath of the Lich King all over again. You're going to play survival from day one to Dragon Soul. The whole way through. So uh, if you like survival, it, it plays kind of similar to uh, you just you like you don't have the four three four three four macro anymore because uh, there aren't spell ranks, so you won't be able to do that. And uh, you, you use black arrow instead of explosive shot single target. Other than that, you're pre you're playing something which is pretty similar to what you're already doing, except you're more mobile because you've got aspect of the fox, which makes you use a cobra shot when you're moving. And cobra shot's just a new steady shot. So uh, yeah, I mean, if you've if you've enjoyed your hunter and wrath, then I, I I think the cata version is just a bit better. But yeah, it w it will be survival the whole way. PvP though, marksmanship marks all the way in PvP. It's like it's like turned into you know frost mage, which has been like a PvP spec forever. That's kind of how I'd say marks is in cata. But again, you know. We, we could be wrong on this. This is what we expect to happen based off, you know, research and final patch balance and all that stuff. How's the sim rogue look? I, I haven't looked into rogue enough to be able to, like, give you a definitive answer, but... As far as I know, they're still good on single target, but they have, like, no cleave. Combat has cleave, and you can, like, blade flurry, and it has a 10 second cooldown. Uh, but it reduces your energy regeneration whilst it's active. And sub rogue is a thing too in PvE, but I don't know. Sub rogue's a, a real wild card for me because I think it'll be good when you have Fangs of the Father because the proc from the daggers gives you like five combo points um, a few times in a row, I think, which is just crazy OP. And that really smooths out the rotation. So I, I don't know whether people will be able to pull off sub early game and you'll need to wait for like the daggers or maybe just don't know, more haste or something for energy regeneration. On my character screen again. Guild's getting antsy for Kata. I'm looking forward to the Kata as well. Hey, Rottle, how you doing? How's Shaman looking? When I've heard Elemental is, uh, Really good, like really, really good. Especially, you're know, like one of the classes that can get the legendary staff as well. An elemental of legendary staff is meant to absolutely blast. So, a very, very strong enhancement is like a lot of other people can do their buffs now and they, they don't seem as in demand as they were in Wrath. And Resto is kind of like you might bring one in 25, but they'll probably be less in demand for 10. No, those are just thoughts at the moment. But yeah, the, 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 the hope and prayers are with Elemental right now to be your big carry spec. Legendary weapons? Yeah, we can, I'll show you them. In case you, so I've talked about them twice now in case you don't know them. So there's two of them. Uh, there's Dragon Ref, Taragosa's Rest, uh, which you can start working towards in Firelands. I think. It's around the Firelands patch. And so this is, do have the, what do they do with the cat version? So basically a, a, a crap load of stats. And when you deal damage, this is the big bit. You have a chance to gain Wrath of Taragosa, duplicating the harmful spell. Uh, ten, so that 10 MS cooldown, that'd be a second then, right? One second ICD? I'm not sure. But yeah, basically you cast a spell and it can cast again. So this is like absolutely insane for casters. Imagine you're an elemental charm and you're lava burst and it does another lava burst and then both of them overload. That's pretty good, right? And the other one are... Who can it be used by? Any caster. Oh, not even any caster. Anyone that can wear a two-hander, but yeah, any caster. So Boomkin, uh, Priest, Mage, Warlock, Ellie, just anyone. It's a two-handed staff. Anyone that can use a two-handed staff. There's no class restriction. And the other one... You'll be Dwarf Shams now as that come later. That will be when Cataclysm's out. 
Every hunter's a hunter, every weapon's a hunter weapon. I mean, hunters can wear staves, so... Sure? Um, so yeah, that's Dragon Rest. So big caster weapon. And they're, they're gonna they're gonna speed up how fast we can get these, by the way. Like, I guarantee it. You've seen what they did with Shadow Morn, right? Where they um they're like if, in fact if you look back at um what you call it, Valinir, it wasn't sped up when the patch first came out. But then uh, after it'd been out for after Aldo had been out for a few months, they they sped up uh, the amount of um, fragments you could get. And Shadow Morn was preemptively sped up. They just made you be able to get loads more of the uh, Soul Frost shards. And I'm going to show you something else. Uh, and there's also the other legendary. Whoa! Whoa, that's too hot for YouTube. A Fangs of the Father. Um, can I get the proc thing? Where's the proc? So yeah, basically, they have, an on, they, they have a passive that makes sense to strike, do more damage, so you can play them with a variety of specs. Where's the proc, though? Please show me proc. And the other one have a, a slow fall. Hands of the father. Why will it not show me the proc? The proc's the big bit. Try going to retail. You get them as a hunter? No, I think I think these are rogue specific. I, I just think it's not showing it. Yeah, they are rogue specific. Uh, so your melee attacks have a chance to grant Shadow of the Destroyer, increasing your agility by 15, stacking up to 50 times. 50 times! Holy crap. Each application past 30 grants an increasing chance to trigger Fury of the Destroyer, which immediately grants you five combo points and causes your finishing move to generate five combo points. The last six seconds. Holy Lee crap, these are bonkers. Uh, so yeah, this this is why they smooth out the sub rotation because sub needs to manage like four finishing moves, I think. Uh, and when this procs, it's just like you you can get your slice and dice up, you can get your recuperate up, you can get your uh, what is it rupture up, and then just or like spam eviscerate. I don't know. But yeah, these are absolutely insane, and these come out in Dragon Soul. So like, I I'm just saying, as much as people give Dragon Soul a bagged rep. The stuff like this in the in, in Dragon Soul and the tier sets from Dragon Soul, the tier set bonuses are crazy good. Like they're absolutely wild how powerful they are. The Rose Daggers weren't top three. I mean back to them, but we'll see what people can do now, right? We'll see what people can do now, but like let, let me show you some of these tier set bonuses. Like Uh, the Hunter one here, I was looking at this for a video. Uh, so the Hunter, tier set bonus, steady shot and cobra shot generate double the amount of focus. Your arcane shot and aim shot have a chance to grant you 30% haste for 15 seconds. That's that's half of a bloodlust as your four set. Like these tier set bonuses are wild how powerful they are. The quest chain was 10 out of 10. Yeah, I've seen some videos of it. Never done it myself, of course. When's it launch? Oh, we don't, we don't know yet, Arthas. Three to five. Oh, yeah, this is just... Um, don't worry about the stats. This is on retail because the Kata version of Wowhead isn't really working yet. But, yeah. That's permanent fire alley. Yeah, some of the tier set bonuses are... Uh, it's a mini bloodlust, and you can get it every, I think it's nearly every two minutes. Like, these tier set bonuses are crazy, man. Uh, what was the Warlock one? Oh, tier 13. Because Warlock, you use uh, Doomguard as a, um, as a cooldown. That's not right. What is it? Base, less. Shroud?
I don't think this is right. Nah, I swear they, they must have nerfed it. Um, because it would be OP in a later expansion change log. I think they've changed it at some point. Hang on. I'm not sure. Soul burn. So they, they did change some of the tier sets mid expansion because they were too good. Like Boonkin, Boonkin's tier 11. When you hit Eclipse, you get 99% spell crit, de decreasing by 33% with each crit dealt. And it was so powerful that people weren't people weren't swapping it in Firelands, so they had to like give them a new tier set. What's the problem with Dragon Soul? Um, it was mainly two things that people go on about. Uh, number one was it went on for too long, which is true for many raids in World of Warcraft. Like Siege of, Ogr Siege of Orgrimmar went on for too long. Didn't make me hate the raid. Um, I thought it was a great raid, but it, it went on for too long. Hellfire Citadel and Wad, good raid, went on for too long. Um, but yeah, anyway, that was one of them. And uh, I think another another part of it was kind of short for a raid, which I, I didn't have much first-hand experience with. And uh, people didn't overall like the Deathwing fight. I think our big problem was Spine of Deathwing. It was kind of annoying, and it was like a really difficult DPS check um, back in the day. Let me show you something. Then Deathwing, world first. ICC has gone on for too long. Yeah, maybe. I'll show you the world first comp for a Spine of Deathwing, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, let's get this over here. So yeah. By the way, there are two... There are, <laughs> yeah, so rogue, 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 mage, rogue, mage, 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 rogue. Does anyone want to hazard a guess why there's only mages and rogues in this world first attempt on this boss? Uh, let's just say Blizzard, um, they, they didn't do the best job of balancing this fight, essentially. So it's like every so often, Spine of Deathwing, you, you like blow up one of these armor plates and you have to destroy these, um, these little like, yeah, so they just blow up an elemental there. Yeah, and it's here. So you blow up several elementals next to the armor plate and the armor plate comes off and these things spawn and you have to burst this down before it closes again. Otherwise, you wipe, essentially. And it's like an extremely tight DPS race. You can see this guy's an arcane mage. Um, and all these guys here have legendaries, basically. This is what... Look how close this is. Or are they not finishing that one? Is that not how it works? Or is it different on Heroic? I thought you had to one-cycle it. Let's get forwards a bit. Yeah, I thought you had to one cycle all the armor pieces, but yeah, anyway. You ever make it more bearable? I think they just nerfed it, to be honest. And uh, also Madness of Deathwing was reportedly easier than Spine as well. I think they gave it HB debuff on each open, so I need to do it in six seconds. I see, right. I see. Uh, but yeah, beta servers are... I, th I think you need a... Do you need a sub to download them or to sign? I think you need a sub to opt in. So like, they're free if you've already opted in, but if you're not, I'm not sure. You, I mean, you can try. Um, if you opt in whenever it comes up, the, the bot's thinking about it right now. There you go. Is there any way to get add-ons? Um, I don't think they're in yet, no. Oh, maybe they are. Oh. That wasn't there the other day. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I haven't tried to get add-ons yet. 
Where's the music from? This is just the Cataclysm login screen music. Pretty much. But I want to play, so we're going to be playing a bit of the Worgen starting zone. Are we going to be able to copy our characters? Eventually, yes. That's usually what they do. Uh, but yeah, I want to start with the Worgen. I, we're, I'm just going to see how far I can get. I know some of them were bugged yesterday, so if I run into like, a wall and it gets bugged, then we'll just go play Goblin. Otherwise, I'm going to be playing some Worgen. And I'm going to play a, I think, a Warlock. Because I have not done this starting zone in ages. Let's go. Led by their indomitable king, Gen Greymane. This the loud enough? citizens of Gilneas once stood with the Alliance against the vile, orcish horde that sought to conquer all of Lordaeron. Whoops. Gilneas survived, but in the chaotic years following the Second War, the mighty kingdom grew ever inward. Distrustful of their former allies, the Gilneans erected a mighty wall at the borders of their land, closing yep. off their nation and their hearts from an ever-darkening world. Now, many years later, as the seemingly unstoppable undead scourge marches across Lordaeron, human civilization once again teeters on the brink of destruction. As war and terror close in all around them, the citizens of Gilneas are faced with one terrible truth. Their mighty wall cannot hold back the dead for much longer. And worse, rumors of a new threat have arisen within the kingdom's borders of feral nightmare creatures that walk upright as men, but hunt and howl as wolves. Whoa, no way. And we're in. Right, are my buttons working? Huh? Holy, it's given a speech already. For Gilneas. For Gilneas. Okay, so we have, I have an imp straight away, but I don't have a pet bar. I'm guessing that you're meant to have a pet bar or, do you not have command demon yet? Control, no, you don't have command demon yet. Oh, wait, wait, I need to make my map do that stupid thing where it turns around. Yeah, rotate mini map. There we go. Whoa. In the northwestern end of the Merchant Square. Oh. It's, it's looking like he's not having a good day. Ooh. And what is this? A gasping for a quest? I'll see what it, I'll see what happens. Some things are miss, he says, as so there's someone attacking him at the same time. Okay, so... Wait, let me just fix this. Enemy units... Minions... That'll do. Okay. Is my imp going to do anything? That's the question. Do I have auto attack still? Wait. I do. You're on stream? No way! I'm on stream too! It's just a fail. Oh, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll get to as far as we can. And then uh, maybe do a bit of the goblin stuff as well. Uh, so, loot. Auto loot opens up window. Yes, yes. Ooh, another quest. What can I do for you? Keep your chin up, eh? When they give you a bag from a quest straight away. Holy. The privilege. Girthalak. I've read a lot about Girthalak, the, uh, the proc. Especially in PvP. It's like kind of insane, right? It like procs all these little uh, tentacle boys that just go and one-shot someone. Level 2 already. Easy, man. Easy money. People are falling down around the beach thing. Yeah, I saw that getting bugged yesterday, but at the same time, I think either they fixed it or people have just like figured out how to get past it. Because, yeah, there's, there's people who are past it. They're not in a guild called Worgen, are they? No, they're not. Yeah, see, we've got a few higher level people, so... 
Maybe there's a few NPCs you can click. Um, we shall see. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be keeping our eyes peeled for bugs. Okay, we're doing some big beta testing. I'm gonna be a useful person. Oh, shadow ball animation's a bit different actually. Hang on, the camera's auto resetting. It's it's driving me crazy. Uh, never. That's more like it. If death warp works, I do not know. Look at that animation. Ooh. Okay, I'm getting this guy apparently. Is this fresh? I mean, it's a beta, so technically, yes. <laughs> it's just not going to last for very long. Yo, Nip. Thanks. I mean, thanks for watching. Thanks for dropping by the stream and letting me know as well. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. He doesn't have someone after him. And I think you can tag mobs uh, in this expansion, right? But not cross-faction. So if someone else hits a mob, I can hit them as well without being grouped. Or am I just making that up? I'm like unsure whether I'm making this up. No, I am. Yeah, okay. I'm wrong. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's mob tagged that one. Was that mop? No. Yeah, I think that was mop, right? AoE looting was mop as well, right? Salvage supplies. Game audio is fine. Good, good. Everything they did to Wad or Legion. Oh, was it that much later? Okay. Fair enough. Red Worgen have a better head. I should I should be in my Worgen form. Oh, I don't have it yet. Oh, I'm still just a human. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have it. All right, look uh, look out some boxes. There's one. Hello, shy. How are you doing? One more. Two more. I can count. Ah, uh, we've got to get right to the end. I see, okay. Fair enough. I should have called my character fair enough. That would have been a great name. No, I'll do it next time. No one steal that, okay? Can I tell you anything about the improved graphics setting? Um, I don't think they've mentioned anything else about it. Let's, uh, let's have a little look here. Graphics. Is there any like? Yeah, fair enough. That's a classic Wargan name right there. I, I, they haven't mentioned anything else. They made it out like BlizzCon, like, oh, we're going to be making all these changes to Kata. You know, we're more open doing, to doing changes now. And then they kind of just haven't said anything at all. Isn't ready? Yeah, quite possibly. Get some melee weaving in. Whoa. Hello? Quick boxes are kind of weird. Uh, so where are we going? Over here. Probably partial region people dish out catters because of the new spell animations. I know many people, including me, was upset with the new character models from WAD. It was a big turn off for you. Uh, yeah, I've... I've Last time we're streaming, we we're talking about the new character models, and yeah, I, I don't like them either, <laughs> like at all. I'm, I actually much prefer these ones. Any friend of Greymane is a friend of mine. Long um, Greymane. Yeah, they're just. I they're, they're like, it's too expressive a fair thing to say. They're just. I think someone last stream said they're kind of Disney, Disneyfied, and I was like, yeah, that's that's kind of a good a good phrase for it. Learn immolate. Any friend I seek further training. TY. Uh, so this is one of the changes from Kata. So when you learn a spell now, it's it's pretty much how runes work in Season of Discovery, if you've played that. You'll learn a spell once, and then it's in your spell book, and you just put it on your bar, and as you level up, the spell gets more powerful. Uh, so spell ranks are gone. They don't exist anymore. And you can check your spell book here to say, oh, level 8, I can learn demon armor. I'll go back to my trainer for that. Um, but yeah, no more spell ranks. Disney-fied. Yeah, I think that was uh, 
practice immolate. Can I practice on something that's uh, tagged by someone else? Oh, I can. Look, look at this efficient gaming. Holy. I got a bad feeling. Let the light of the new moon okay. guide Okay, let's hope to Greymane. Werewolves run like goofballs. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I, I don't really like the animations of uh, Worgen or Goblins. Um, if I am being quite honest with you. What now? I prefer the stuff that's already in the game. Yeah. feel the same way about Pandaren. I don't like their animations either. In fact, Pandaren. I made a... I thought he was going to tag that then. Oh, now he's decided to. I made a Pandaren um, monk at the start of Mart, like everyone in the game did, obviously. And it was the only race that I've ever race changed um, without having like a reason to do so for raiding. Just because I got sick of looking at it. But I'd rather pay Blizzard money to not look at it anymore. That's uh, that's the kind of my summary on how I feel about Pandaren. And I've never mained anything that's a goblin or a worgen either. So yeah. Just, uh, yeah, not not my preferred animations, you know? I, I, in fact, I don't like really any of the new races they added until they did allied races. And the allied races were just reskinned existing races, to be honest, weren't they? They failed at recapturing the models. Yeah, I, I, I kind of think they did, yeah. They're just a bit too... I don't know. Yeah, lumbering, I guess. All paragoted. Yeah, sure. Where the Sephrak, though? Why don't Alliance have snack people? True. I mean, Volpera, you're just, uh... Yeah, they're uh, one of the things of all time, for sure. Inside the prison. How do I go to prison? Not zoom in the map. Apparently not. Target, target, target. Targets, that's better. My mana regen, it's very choppy. Oh, hang on, let me... Uh... It's just going up in increments. This seems fine. Um, health. Um, how do you display both? Hang on, health. Overlapping status text, both. There we go. In here? Ah, in here, right. There's quite a few people in now. I think they've started inviting lots of people, uh, which is great because, damn, this, this game needs testing. Still in our prison. Wait, upstairs. Upstairs. Go upstairs. But more cartoonish. Yeah, it didn't quite it didn't quite pan out for me. And even when they updated the animations in When did they update animations? It wasn't BFA, was it? I don't know, they still look kind of out of place. I just enjoyed the original ones. I don't know. Whoever did the original animations just did a really good job, basically. Hold back the wagon for two minutes. Oh boy. Surely this will not bug, right? Because there's like 10 people on the quest at once. Did away with MP5. Uh, yeah, that's true, MP5 uh, does not exist. A lot of stats got changed. A lot of stats. Like, there's no armor pen. There's no block rating. There's no block value. There's no MP5. What else got changed? I, t tons of things got changed. Like intellect gives spell power. Agility doesn't give armor. Strength doesn't give block. Yeah, they changed a lot of things. Gorilla or G Gron animation. Exactly. They should have been riding Gron everywhere. Expertise get touched. No, I'm pretty sure that still exists. Uh, yeah. Yep, still here. And spell damage is gone on armor and jewelry. It still exists on trinket procs and weapons, though. 
So yeah, a lot of changes. They should bring back the old animations as glyphs. That'd be interesting, but... I don't know how many people would go for it. I think, you know, it's different versions of the game and stuff. So I'm hoping that 20 seconds... Oh, right, yeah, I've got a timer here. That's good. Hopefully this just goes by and it's not bugged. Oh, Kata... Cl hey, we got the first one in the comments. The first hate comment about Kata. I have to count them. It's taken a while, though, so... Uh, I'll take that. Darius is Sash. Pop that on. Okay, back to Greymane. Down here, I think. How's that thing, Kata? It's, from what I've seen so far, you pretty much play demo. Actually, I could just go down here, couldn't I? Uh, you play demo, yeah. Destruction's kind of similar to Raph, where it's like technically okay, but at the same time, why would you? And Aph is apparently good on multi-target fights, but otherwise you're playing demo, yeah. And I'm definitely going to be playing the lock, and I'm expecting to play demo the whole way through. I don't think it's going to be like... I think it'll start off well, but... I feel like if you're a caster, mage, especially fire mage, looks super fun in kata. Like, really fun. Military district. Eh? Up here? Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to read, apparently. It's in the cellar of the building just west of here. Cellar. Any way down. I go in the door? Nope. Hmm. Is Boomy any good? Apparently, yeah, it's uh, definitely playable. Um, and you can bring one to raid for sure. I don't think you'll stack them, though. But uh, I, th I reckon it sounds kind of similar to how it is in... Um, Wrath of the Lich King. You bring one along, and you're happy to see one, but yeah, you, you just don't have loads of them. Where's this cellar, then? Let me read it again. The military district. In the build... In the cellar of a building just west of here. I guess I carry on. Oh, right here. Yeah. Aha. Oh, I'm learning. Ain't you a chip? How come no one else was finding this? Holy crap. What is it? He's getting mad. Make it quick. I've been bitten by a worgen. It's probably nothing. But it sure it's stings a little. It's probably nothing, guys. Uh I'll be fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, I'll, I'll be good. I don't know why you remember like that. It's pretty uh, obscure as far as things go. What's this? Ah, Somebody... oh, wait. I need to find some uh, Worgen around here. Worgen are hiding in the alleys ahead. Okay, so I summon a dog, and it's going to find Worgen for me. And my imp's gone. There we go. The system's working. I couldn't find it either, so it's burned in your mind, yeah. I mean, it was it was a little bit hidden, right? I kind of, I'm relying on other people. I just expect a stream of players to exist, and I'll just follow them. Boss raid wide? Yes, yeah, they are. Imagine I never get my imp back again now. Kind of be unpopular because the raiding will be harder. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not trying to convince myself it's going to be more popular than Wrath. Like, at all. But um, I think there's a demographic of people who enjoy a more challenging raiding. Um, as kind of evidenced by weekly about 180k non-unique uh, non people still doing ICC at the moment. So I started raiding properly in Kata as well. Before then, I was like a full-on PvPer. 
So I re I'm like really interested to see how the raids play out again. All right, let's go hand this in. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm just. I'm actually really looking forward to some decent progression raiding. What is it? Let's get that. Oh, we get two states. Oh, that's a wand. Make it quick. Okay. Big upgrades. And. So shoots and actually the um, what you call it weapon skill shouldn't exist anymore. I heard that was bugged. Oh, I was going to check, but what's this? Okay, I'm going on a rescue mission. There's only one or two worgen here. I think it's just it's just an auto scroller. I don't do anything, right? Help up here! All right, All right chill out, mate. Lorna Kroll is TV called a war tree tart. Yeah. You'll be hanging around in lakes trying to offer your swords and stuff. Outrageous. I owe you my life. Can I get off the horse? No, I can. Okay, every every mob from the quest is still on me though. So uh, I'm just going to go the other direction real quick here. Um, are they going to de-aggro or? There we go. And yeah, my imp has gone. So I <laughs> can I guess I'm... Oh, wait, no, no, I can resummon it. I resummon it. Oh? Yeah, I can. Can I not put this on my bar? Yeah, apparently not. What now? Okay, Mr. Godfrey. Oh. That seems... I think more people from retail will play Kata. Uh, Leveling is faster and the old world is just what you have in retail and the classes are kind of closer with Holy Power and stuff. Yeah, I, I actually think there's going to be more of a crossover between people from retail playing this now. Uh, I think you're right. Another reason is there's... I think I've mentioned this before. I think Heroic Raiding Kata is somewhere in the middle between like vanilla raiding and mythic raiding. Where it's challenging, but it's not like excessively difficult and um I, I think there's a demographic of people for that specifically Kata and Mott I think are going to be pretty popular among raiders holy it's kicking off over here um why, why is his head just in the air over here there we go we do what we must. Right, we're oh, oh boy. Vehicle quests. I love vehicle quests. They're the best. Let's round up as many of them as we can. Every wargan chasing us is one less wargan chasing the survivors. Are these not going to hit them all? Oh, right. Yeah, I meant to round them up. Okay. I see. <laughs> Boy, please give me more vehicle quests. They're great. I like when I can't play my class. Wait, is this day doing damage to them or not? Oh no, it is. Okay, it's, it made it sound from the tooltip as though it didn't, but fine. I guess I need to go all this way anyway, so... I don't need to kill him too fast. One more? There we go. Hey, Mango, how you doing? What was the nail? Yeah, what was uh? I mean, honestly, people tell you this days, these days, what wasn't that bad, and uh, it was just like uh, there was nothing to do, unfortunately. Very little content, but if you raided, it was probably fine. Oh, another vehicle quest, sick. The launcher wad was a disaster though. Didn't people get stuck in their garrisons for like a few days in a row? Like, I, that didn't happen to me. I think wad was one of the expansions where I, I didn't play it on launch straight away. Oi. Tobias Mismantle. Ooh, like a uh, style van. Holy. Keep your chin up, eh? Oh. 
farewell. And horde questing experience. And Horde have definitely got some good zones in Kerta. Especially uh, Stone Talon. Stone Talon turns into like eh, whatever to uh Yeah, you should you should do Stone Talon if you play Horde. Like trust me on that one. We will prevail. We All right, do Darius. We will prevail. Your eight frenzied stalkers, damn. Look at this seamless phasing as well, wow. Horde questing was an afterthought. Yeah, I, um... See, this quest is shared between tags, but the other one wasn't. I think we're, um, we're on the same, um, like, phase, if that makes sense. Interesting. Um, but yeah, like, stuff like the Barons is, it kind of... It's fun enough, like, the first time, but man, does it go on a while. Is any model toggle available? Nah, nothing like that yet. Um, I don't know what they're going to do. Um, it could have just been a wowhead data mine thingy, which doesn't really mean anything in reality, but uh, no such settings exist at the moment. Oh! Cutscene! Holy. Sinking each other on nothing more than just another wretched mongrel. Do you even remember what you did to your friends? Your kind haunting the wilds unchecked until we found you. They've kept you alive. Because they still believe you can be saved. To which I must ask, is there even a shred of humanity left within you? Perhaps we will find out soon enough. I'd forgotten about these as well, to be honest. Totally. All right, pretty cool. Well, wait, that's me. No. Oh, I'm a Worgen now. I'm not a very happy looking Worgen at that. Oh, no. Wait. Yeah, my staff's poking through. Oh, my. My immersion has been ruined. The Worgen druid in the day. Uh, wait. Rise again. There's two of them. Oh. I probably should have reported that. Anyway, it's too late for that. Okay, they've all disappeared. I pr probably should be reading a bit more, but... You know, re th this is what cutscenes are for, isn't it? Speak, Speak with Krenin Aranas in Duskhaven. Alright, so I'm all wogged up now. So... I've got, right, I've got my racial passive, so aberration. We get some resistances to harmful nature and shadow effects. And we get Dark Flight, so we can get the Zoomies. Pop you there. And... Uh, Flyer. Increase the skinning, you can skin faster. And 1% crit chance. So, not bad racials, really. Not half bad. Warlock Trainer. Have I got anything new to train? I'll have a quick look. I like the ways of Buck on the map now, where trainers are. Get Gabin or get going. You wouldn't want to see me when I'm angry. The, the voice acting for these, these people is uh, interesting. What can I do for maybe you? in August? Nah, he'll be before that. Probably, maybe. I hope. Keep your chin up, eh? Keep your chin up, eh? Key bindings and... Are 
you got to have your proper key bindings. All right, let's carry on. Well met. It worked. By the lights, it worked. Professions trainer? Feeling. Jack of all trades, Darrington. Uh, you know what? Let's train a profession. We'll get... We'll get skinning. Because we're apparently we're better at skinning. Um... Is this, all, is this like a beta thing? Or does this always exist here? This feels like kind of a rather dedicated mob. Anyone know? I, I really don't remember. Like they might have just thrown it all on one NPC to save space, because otherwise you'd need like 10 or however many professions there are. Uh, you know, we're going to skinning and um, farewell. reduction. We'll go leatherworking, a classic combo. He's always there. All right, fair enough. Train me in leatherworking. And uh, I'll see what I can get. So we'll pop you there and there. Oh, do I need a skinning knife to skin? I do. There's a banker here as well. You sell items. He doesn't sell items, though. Track. Who would sell a skinning knife? Existed here and the goblin starting area. You've come to the right spot. Okay, yeah, I, I didn't remember that. Oh, there we go. It's pretty easy. Uh, where are we going? Over here. I got a bad feeling. I swear this wasn't my fault. Why are they looking at me like that? Damn. I like the music in this zone as well. So I don't know, old, old kind of English feeling, isn't it? Like Victorian stuff like that. Maybe later than that. Stoked for Calico. Yeah, me too, Murphinaya, for sure. You know, damn the haters. I enjoyed the raid tiers a lot too. I want to do them again. Yonaeus is being invaded. No way. In Duskhaven. Whoa, undead. Corruption's instant cast by default now. Okay. Love to see that. Did this? Why is this damage? I'm just dying here. I guess I don't have Voidwalker yet, do I? When do I get a Voidwalker? Eight. Okay, pretty soon. I have to see how good Voidwalker is. Hopefully he's not like cosmetic in this version of the game. Remember in vanilla and in TBC, your Voidwalker was... Uh, he, he was good at watching you taking hits. That's what he was good at doing. Uh, yo, Denoral. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I just had to read through that. Yeah, sure. If you want to send it on, like, Twitter or something. Uh, like an unlisted video on YouTube or whatever, then go for it. I'll, uh, I'll check it out and let you know. Over here. Liam Greymane. Oh, there's quite a lot of people around here. Do I have to kill more stuff? Hold the line, kill stuff. And use black gunpowder kegs. Do I have these kegs or where do I get them from? Or do I just find them around here? Beneath the sheds and by the windmills. Okay. Can't afford a shirt. I mean, apparently not. I guess it's, uh, you get that from the store or something. Can't just be handing out shirts now, can we? Here you go. Um, whoa. You just throw it on his head. This is like full on Skyrim style. Just yeet it on his head. Switching my action bars. I need to unbind that. I'll be fine. One of those. I think that everything's going to respawn pretty quick. 
I have debuffs on nameplates though. So you still need a weak aura for that. A bit unfortunate. Yeah, Voidwalker. Yeah, Voidwalker in vanilla. Not the most useful thing in the game. I got bad if I stand here, I'm not going to stand there. I kind of want to see if I'll die though. Holy, look how much arm waving there is in the animations. It's worth being at a much higher level. Yeah, I think one of the things which can be kind of weird is, um, especially when you're leveling a character, some of your like really core cool abilities come at sometimes super late levels. Is like, is anything bad on Warlock? I don't think anything's too bad on Warlock, but there's like some other classes. Like, I think if if you're on Druid, I think Rip is like level 50 something, and it's like, why do I have to wait this long for Rip? Do you know what I mean? You should change it. Yeah, I mean the the abilities scale anyway. I the I I know what the intention was, right? They want to like give you something to feel good about when you level up. Um, which is definitely fair enough, but in some cases it just feels like such a long, it's such a long wait for a core ability, you know. Whereas when we had spell ranks, you didn't have that concern because spell and with a spell rank system, you can give everyone their abilities super early game, and they can just power them up over time. Don't need rip. Yeah, but you know, you've got like elites, you've got mini bosses, you've got dungeons and stuff, and it can just feel like it's missing sometimes. And again, that's just one example. Maybe there's better ones. Grab that, and we need two more skeletons. Also, this was a change from Wrath, but as soon as you hit something, it's tagged. You don't actually have to do damage. Uh, so you can just press Corruption and you'll get the mob tag. Which is pretty nice, because before Warlock was terrible at mob tagging in vanilla. Like, they were absolutely awful. Um, right. Turn that in. For my Yo. For my oh, Prince Lynn needs some gracing. Can you uh, stand still for a moment? For my Thank you. Time to play a Blood Decay. Yeah, Blood Decay seems like a fantastic choice. But uh, I've heard from the video I did the other day, people are saying that I was underrating Crop Pally. I'm pretty sure they nerfed block tanks in Dragon Soul for some reason or another. And those those changes should stick around, but uh, we'll see. I think Blood Decays in like any event are going to be a good choice though. What is movement? There we go. You got a auto. I always bind auto run. I don't know if anyone else does this, but. The amount of times I just press auto run and point myself in the line instead of holding down like move forwards all the time. Uh, is this the bit where there, where there was problems? It might have been around here, right? Good thing dude's picking a spec with a core ability. Elemental gets... Does Elemental get Thunderstorm? I thought you got Lava Burst. Oh, I haven't looked at it yet. Pass will I main? I will main Warlock. Anyway, I think this bit might be bugged, so this could be a rip. We'll see what we get to. Other people have got past it though, so I'm just going to go pee real quick. I shall be obby.
Wash my hands? Absolutely not. Of course I did. I'm a very um, wash people's hands guy. Mr. James on Twitter, the up red models are... Wait, they're available? The up res uh, graphics. Um... Do you know where? Oh, actually, I'm going to check this. Wait, wait, wait. Just a sec. I will check his Twitter. Not MGM Studios. Mr. GM. Okay. Check his Twitter. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. I would like to see it. Replies, posts. Hmm. Not there, not there. I can't see it. I can't see it at the moment. All right, you got it. Cheers. Oh yeah, sorry about the timeout. It just uh, it does that. There's a new upres model, texture resol resolution. New upres graphics below texture resol resolution. What the? He's got some like special client that I don't have. Just in case anyone on uh, YouTube's wondering what he's talking about. Yeah, it's uh, new up-res graphics. Alright, well, uh, I mean, thanks for letting me know. I'll, I'll keep an eye out for that then. I will keep an eye out for sure, but yeah, it's not here right now at least. Interesting though. We'll see what they do with that. Even though Walken's got the short end of the model stick. I mean, they look okay. It's just, it's mainly just the animations. Like, I don't know. Yeah, not, I'm not a big fan. The best class for Walken, Rogue or Warrior? Um, I, I think with those two choices, it's, it's kind of either or. Just pick the one you like. With the new animations that are smoother, but still keep the classic spirit. Uh, we'll, I mean, we'll see what the upred gra up graphics are, because we don't know what they'll be. And yeah, I don't understand what they'll be either. We shall see when we see, but uh, I cannot check it at the moment. Crocodiles and chihuahuas. What are you saying about this? Are you calling a chihuahua, eh? <laughs> Apparently that was the angry animation, okay. What now? Yeah, thanks for checking. Yeah, no worries. I will, uh... I'll, yeah, I'll keep an eye out for it. Because I want to see too. Right, I think this is the bit where things are boobed. Is it around here? Uh, the water's here. Maybe it was later on. I'm not there yet. You know, she played them for ages. Ah, fair enough. Right, what am I doing? Kill stuff, kill stuff. Rescue people. Alright, can do. Say no more. Next part after this. Yeah, we'll... Uh, I mean, we're looking at it earlier. There are people who are a higher level on Morgan, so either there's a way around it, or it's working. I just, I, it'd be nice if it just worked. These guys are doing a lot of damage, actually. Time to get out of here. I'm taking so much damage, what the hell? I thought Cataclysm leveling was easy. I'm some good old fashioned uh, fence abuse. Yeah, where's my imp? Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh. Okay, he's resetting. Ooh. Okay, the, the Cataclysm beta hardcore is still alive, guys. You'll be glad to know. Holy, I just took like a million damage off those two. Right, don't over pull, I guess. Stuff hurts without looms. Yeah, it does really bad as well. I just, I was just getting clapped. 
And floating combat text has turned itself off for the fifth time today. Good to see some things never change. Walks at, yeah, I walks at squishy as hell, man. I need to, uh, I need to be careful. And die real easy out here. Okay, so the, I don't have a pet bar, but the pet attack macro does work. Or a keybind. Wait, my pet has about as much health as I do. I'm really that squishy. I've got I've got ten more health than on my pet. Oh no. Yo, I hope you like the hunter as well, and uh plenty more to come soon. Thank you. I have to aim for this What do you want me to do? Read the quest text? I'm aiming for the Forsaken Ships. Oh. What? Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, I slightly misaimed there. Yeah, I mean, mana's, ma my mana situation's okay. Yeah, I expected to launch a bomb, not myself. Again, like, come on, what do you expect me to do, Read? This is outrageous. Oh, this is good, though. Now that's some good old-fashioned line of sight abuse. I love that. Oh, another bag. This is truly a blessed character. Okay, let's uh, let's try that again. Boats are full of enemies. Uh oh. Yeah, if I if a few people get on me, I'm just dead. Like, I have dark flight, and that's it. Okay, this time I will go here. Nice. That, that very nearly went terribly wrong. I have to do a bit of pet juggling as well. My imp is about as tanky as I am, so I can let him take a few hits. Yeah, weapon weapon skill doesn't exist anymore in Kata. I uh, this this shouldn't be here. God, I can't wait for weapon skill to be gone. I've been an avid weapon weapon skill hater since vanilla. Is my imp not attacking? There we go. Get a new weapon? Wow, that's so cool. I can't wait to use my new weapon. But first, you need to go and hit grey mobs for about 20 minutes. And that's being generous. It used to be way more than 20 minutes. This guy. I'm taking a lot of damage though. I'm uh, feeling very squishy, but I guess this, this is just early game Kata with no looms, right? A <laughs> little dopamine hit between the levels. You absolute addict. Let's grab another, uh, another catapult and yeet myself over there. I need to save these, uh, save the children as well. I'll get another catapult, this one. Uh, this one, Andy. Yep. In Kata, there are, there's no longer hunter ammo. I should have to the wrong guy as well. Yep, so if you're playing the hunter in Kata, plus one bag space. Uh, but Mott removed the relic and range slots. I wish it didn't. I, I'm i not going to lie. I, I don't like the minimum attack range for hunters. Uh, I wish that wasn't in the game. Oh god. Oof. I'm so close to just yeeting myself into the ocean on this. I should be like going at a better angle. Maybe it's not a problem anymore. Because like. If you, if you played a hunter in Wrath. And early on, you were doing stuff like Malagos and Sartharian. Some of the hitboxes, this is when you had to trap weave. Like, you had to full-on run in, drop a trap, run, uh, disengage out. The hitboxes, some of the, some of the bosses, were just absolutely terrible. Like, it legit made me want to quit playing Hunter. And then they put Explosive Trap Launcher in the game, which literally saved the class. So, I, I don't know how that is in, in um, Kata, whether there are any bosses with, like, bad hitboxes. But it does make me somewhat wary about playing Hunter. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, in Kata they also get rid of hunters wearing melee weapons and wands for casters and stuff like that. It's all... not Kata, sorry, that's Mop. That's Mop. Ignore that. Uh, mop is when they get rid of wands and uh, hunters with melee weapons. Go to Blizzard. Yeah, I'm, I wish they put in... I, I nearly just died off that guy. I wish they put in an explosive trap launcher so much earlier. Like, in uh, in Alder on TOGC, like, I was uh, thinking of quitting my hunter just because of how bad the mechanic was and how much it didn't work. But yeah, that's changed now, so yeah. Still soul shards? There are still shoal star shoal starts? That's not the right word. Yeah, there are still shards, but they're very different though. Very different. You do you don't like keep them in your bag anymore and stuff. So where is this guy? Just over here, I think. Yeah, there we go. Go to the Allen's basement. Very trustworthy. Feel like you're playing a gimped version of retail? Nah, nah they are very different. Um, in terms of the, the, the world and stuff, yeah, it's the same world, it's the same questing, but classes are going to be quite different. Um, I say give it a go, but you know, at the end of the day, it's up to you, but I, I think it is a very different version of what retail is at the moment. Running an ad in your melee weave. It's like the only expansion where melee weaving properly worked though was TBC. Like in Classic, there's the like awkward eight yard minimum range. In TBC, they changed it to five. And I think that, that was like the good spot for it. Even in like Sod, I kind of don't like melee weaving that much because of the extra extra movement you have to do. It feels a little bit awkward. Yeah, the, the whole problem in Wrath with Hunter for me was the just bad hitboxes on bosses, like really bad hitboxes. Oh, they don't give you much cloth, do they? No time right. back. Level 7, and we're going to possibly get stuck here, but we'll, we'll see. What now? What now? The pack. Oh, not yet, apparently. It's a Hunter's Lost Parry. Yeah, that's true, I guess. I, I never thought about that. They, um... They do change parrying Kata, you know. It's not like a full damage mitigation anymore. It's... I think it's 50% mitigation. And there's no parry haste either. So it's not like as good as it used to be. It's full? Is it? Are you sure? Um, block change? I thought parry change too. Oh. I thought they both change. What reduce the percentage damage? Yeah, I mean, block's 30%. I, I know about that for sure. But I thought they changed parry as well. So it's like, it's not like a full mitigation like dodges anymore. Which add-on's my favourite? Hmm. Um, add-on. Favourite. I don't know about a single add-on. Esleatrix Plus does a lot of stuff that I like. Down here. Parry will... Yeah, parry will still prevent damage, but I'm saying, like, parry won't prevent 100% of damage like it currently does. At like the moment in Wrath, you parry, you get parry haste, you hit them back. I think in Kata, it's like you parry, you block 50% of the damage, and you don't parry haste. What now? I, I, again, I could be wrong on this. I, I need to look at it some more. So yeah, I think this is the bit what now? where we might have a bit of a problem. And... There's a looking still bug to me. Right, Liam Neeson over here. Hey, Mango, thanks for joining. Appreciate that. Hope you're having a good time. That's wrong. I mean, fair enough. It's wrong, it's wrong, but... 
Um, I, I remember reading that somewhere. I haven't tested it myself. But yo, Mango, I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. I think maybe it was some. I think it was some early interview of Ghost Crawler and Kata. I'm gonna try clicking some of these guys and seeing if it works. They are they are shining, even though there's a distinct lack of water. Oh. Uh. Okay, I'm I'm rescuing. Parkour. Okay. I'm parkouring. I can jump up here. Can I not jump up there? Maybe not. Where am I meant to take them? Get them ashore. Yeah, it might be a little tricky. Um, <laughs> can I not get back up here? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, one out of four. The game's still on. Um, there's another one down there. Okay, yep, that one's working. Oh, uh, is it here? Okay, two out of four. This is this is probably not how you're intended to do the quest, but it's working. Right, if you're stuck on this quest, then just do this. Um, so we need two more, but I need to like parkour my way back up as well. This was on. This was an OG cutter too. No way. That's crazy. Oh, we can get up here. Ah, I will, I'm going to do this then. Who your main going to be? My main will be a warlock for sure. And then I'd also like to play an alt, but we'll see how things go in terms of time and what the guild's doing and stuff. But I played a resto drew back in the day. And I'd really like to see how they play again. Um, so yeah, hopefully resto drew does an alt. Uh, but yeah, definitely. I'm going to stick with my warlock for the main though. I'm kind of look. I'm really looking forward to lock because um, demonology was like fine early on. Cataclysm, not cata, wrath. Sorry, but it like fell off a absolute truck late game. It's still like a mandatory thing you have to bring because it gives ten percent spell power, but it's just nowhere near as good as it used to be. I think I have to click the ones that are like shining a bit. There's some over here. I'll try over there. Or. The one here? Ah, yep, yeah, got it. Alright, easy. Onwards we go. Uh, yeah, definitely health potions, because I've been struggling. I'm back over here and I'm going to bind my health pots too. Key bindings. Gin bar. Put you there. There we go. Looked it up. It seems parry provides similar mitigation to dodge. Fair enough then. Maybe I uh, I got a bad link or something. I read something that's wrong. That is uh, that's kind of something that I do. You know, all these old videos, these old expansions. It's... Uh, a lot of people played them back in the day and stuff, but it does it it does do you well to uh, fact check stuff and like cross cross different points of data and see if they match up. So What's I guess I'll uh, I'll forget that about that one then. Three quests from this guy. Good day. That one, Came that one, and one. that one. Questing is definitely a lot more fluid in Kata though. It's kind of the TBC and Wrath format. Information gets foggy. It really does. And like there's private servers too, which are um they're like a good reference point to start from, but at the same time they can like enforce metas or like how things should be, which turn out to not be right. What is it? Um and you know, a lot of people who played them for years are like, this is how it works, because this is how I understand it works. Is 
But yeah, I'd say always take stuff with a bit of a grain of salt until Blizzard release their version of it, because until then, we just don't know for sure. Oh, thank you, uh, Mango. Yeah, the Druid one will be out later tonight, or today, depending where you're at. And uh, then I'll have the Hunter one out after that. Mountain Horse Rescue. What am I doing? I guess I just ride them over here, right? Ah, oh, wait, wait. You can do more than one at once. Yeah. You know that one quest in Grizzly Hills? I just like, I was like, oh god, I'm doing this again. <laughs> Didn't miss that. Actually, I don't think Horde have that quest. There's a quest where you have to, like, get five horses and, like, you can only turn in one at once. It's not, like, the biggest inconvenience ever, but I guess, yeah, four plus the one I'm riding. And I take these two... The pack mules. Ah, oh, no, the Grizzly Hills. Pack mules is in um, Howling Fjord. The one where you got the encampments. You have to, like, get carrot on a stick. And you can only do one at once, that one. But where do I take them to? Here? No. Oh, right, I did. Okay, yeah, I just took a moment. What is it? Thank you. Okay, next one over here. Loved how hard the heroic dungeons were. I'm looking forward to the uh, heroics, for sure, to see how they are pre-nerf. I think um, by today's standards, they're not going to be, like, insane. And the reason I say that is, like, if you've ever done a mythic plus 10, I don't think they're going to be more difficult than that on average. And if you're in an organized group and you're like, you're rolling cooldowns, you're CCing, you're interrupting the correct you? mobs, Farewell. you'll probably be able to get past them pretty Dead. quick. But if you're pugging through the LFG, there's a pretty high chance that you're going to be run into an absolute disaster. It should be fun either way, though. <laughs> Linen wrapped bug. Ah, over here. Halls of Origination. What was the final boss in Halls? There was a lot of bosses in there. There was like that room with four bosses around the circle, right? Alright, guys, what's your favourite dungeon in Kata, if you have one? I know what mine is. I know what mine is for sure. Like, it, it could be it, including ZG and ZA and the, the um, ones at the end, end time and all that. It's like one dungeon for you that's better than anything else. I think there is for me. Are they outside? Yep, yeah, we're outside. I have to go and get a clothes for them. Of course, there's some skeleton guy waiting for me. Grimba. Oh, Grimba Toll's a good one, actually. Especially as it's like a returning dungeon from a classic that always could have been there. But it just never got finished, I guess. Turn this in. What's your story? There That's you enough go. gabbing for me today. That is also enough Farewell. gabbing for me today. I'll see if the Tolvia. Uh, oh, it's got. Uh, I'll see if the Tolvia has that agility trinket, doesn't it? The Tears Grace. Holy! How do I remember that? Tears Grace. Uh, or is it agility? It might be mastery. I remember going for that for ages on my druid. Stonecore, yeah. Stonecore with a, the big worm boss at the start. You get hit by when it like jumps out the ground and it does its, un, its uh, underground phase and you just get one shot. Osrock, break yourselves upon my body. That is a classic. For me, it's probably Vortex Pinnacle. Um, cause Vortex, there's, I don't know, it's just, uh, 
It just looks really cool, Vortex Pinnacle. I've always been I've a big a fan of it. Feeling. The bosses are okay. They've Long got the, the first one where you just like do the dance between the orbs and stuff. And then Alteris where like you have to go with the direction of the wind. And the last boss where fact, the bosses aren't too interesting in there. But it just looks really cool. And the, the music's still good as well. The mastery trinket. Yeah, I, I see, isn't it like it has agility passive then mastery on use or the other way around. One or the other. healers. Yeah, you had those zones on the floor, right? Or from the, um, it's like adolescent storm drakes that put some zone on the floor, I think. I remember getting crit for 100k, the last boss in ZG. Ooh, I, I don't remember what they do at all. I remember doing Mandakir and he has like the ghosts around the side and like occasionally he just Hello. executes someone. But I think we just outgeared it and it wasn't a problem. I just tuned in, no problem. Are the broken quests fixed in the Goblin and Wargan starting zone? In Wargan zone, no. Uh, if you go back like 15 minutes in the VOD, I had to like do some parkour to turn a quest in. It was still completely bugged. Um, which isn't ideal, but I'm, I'm sure they know about it. Void Walker time? I should go learn it, yeah. I will. Next time I'm in town, I will go grab that for sure. And we'll, we'll see how he does in Kata. In this brave new world. Prox Adjun hit stacking 10 times. Yeah, that was it. I'll in two of them though. We ain't doing that. I feel like it should be, there should be some water here, but it's just not there. Oh, they don't have fear either. Right, can I... Oh, he's got an unused attack as well. Okay, right, there's a safe spot here. He's going for my imp, so I come back down. Swap aggro again. I feel, I feel there'll be water behind me, so I can't go in there because he'll be able to swim. Or like, there should be water. If I bet if I go here, he'll be able to follow me. Dude, this, this, these, <laughs> these early quests are kind of hard, though. Right. Let's try that again. Um, do I have any food? Oh, I do. I think Druid's healing touch should be changed to require 50. That's around when Druid started unlocking that slow and strong heals. Hmm. What, what's the one you get early game? It's Nourish, right? Hello, final. How are you? Oh. I saw that message. It's too late now. No take backs. <laughs> final E. Of course, you gotta have an E in your name. Very mandatory. Rejuve is weak source. I, yeah, I, I saw someone streaming a druid and Rejuve was healing like. Five? I don't know whether it's under tuned or that's like intended, but it seems kind of crap, right? Next, another stone core enjoyer. And there's going to be Titan Rune dungeons as well in Kata. Or whatever they decide to call them. Shattered Rune dungeons. I don't know. Something else. Uh, so I need shipwright tools. What are they? In here? Aha. Uh -huh. Reese res 14, Pala gets it at 12. Mm. I tell you one of the good changes from Kata. Uh, if you didn't know about this already, this could potentially save you a lot of money. Uh, in Wrath of the Lich King, dual spec is 1k. In Kata, I think it's 10 gold, right? They change it to 10 gold. Where's jewel spec? I think it's level 30, right? Level 30 for 10 gold. 
yeah, so if you haven't, if you want to, if you have, if you've got like something you want to get dual spec on, do, do not spend 1,000 gold now, okay? Wait. Wait for the pre-patch and it will change to 10 gold. And yeah, I think, again, I think it's level 30 when you can get it. Um, so yeah, if you want to go do dungeon content when you're leveling, that is much, much more viable in Kata. Went to 100 at first. I'm not sure. I know it's 10. So that's really nice. Get a little sprint on. And go train our new spells too. I hope we can do that up here. I'll look out for a trainer. And stinks, you want to level through the new zones? We already got stuff maxed out. Me too. Uh, me too. I, I, I do very much agree with that. I was thinking, right, this is this is probably like a big controversial opinion, but thoughts on level scaling between 1 and 80. Uh, so you could level in any cat zone you wanted to. Do you think that's a good idea? Do you think that's a bad idea? Dislike it. I think most people will dislike it. But um, it, it would give you a reason to level in the new cat zones, which... I think otherwise they're going to be kind of underappreciated. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. I'm riding past the trainer. Why didn't I read my quest? What was that? Was that meant to be the gate? What was that noise? It's fine. There will be another trainer up here, I'm sure. You hate the leveling in Outlander, Northrend? Uh, if I could not do Outland again, like, I'm just saying, after you've done... Okay, I thought I'd crash then. After you've done leveling in Kata and you go to Outland, Outland feels so bad. Like, so bad. Um, I, yeah, if I could not do it again, that would be great, to be honest. Wrath is better by, like, a bit. But if we're going to be doing the, like, cataclysm leveling format where you do you know you're, you've got a zone you've got your story you do the story you go to the next zone you do the story and so on um i think that kind of started in tbc raf did it a bit better kata does it a bit better and so on but miss tbc yeah i mean it's it's just for the purpose of leveling right but the, yeah the leveling in, in tbc re really wasn't my favorite i like nagrand i like zangamarsh that's kind of it. <laughs> if I'm being a completely honest with you, the rest of the zones, I could skip them and be very happy. And the random kobolds get to 60, it feels weird. It would feel weird. Yeah, I'm just like throwing it out there. It's not like they're going to do it or anything, but... At the same time, it's... This happened back in the day with Kata. So many people had level cap characters and they never went to see the new content because... They had level cap characters. Like, I went straight into Vashir. I didn't even go to make a Goblin or Worgen. I think these old zones would be so much more appreciated and played through if this happened, but... I don't know. Maybe level scaling is too big of a step. But at the same time, we're in Kata now, right? Things have begun to, begun to change a lot. And... A lot of people won't have done these quest lines for 14 years. They're probably enjoying the first time around. I don't think they have the same replayability as me for Vanilla. Uh, as vanilla does but it's 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 just otherwise people aren't gonna see them and by the way when you're leveling in kata you um it's not like you're completing every zone in the game from one to 60 you'll complete like probably a third of the content if that there is an enormous amount of content in eastern kingdoms and kalimdor and so you could go you could go through on another character and find a different sort of like way through it, especially if it was scaled. Uh, maybe you could have some like cutoffs for the scaling, like if you want to do EPL, you have to be at least level 30 and then it will scale. Do you know what I mean? Obviously it is it's Kata, so it's quite different, but I'm just just throwing it out there. 50 quests already. Keep your chin up, eh? Uh, up here? I feel like we're about to get a cutscene. This, this looks like, if I was in Dark Souls now, I'd be like, yo, boss room, look at this. 
or Wrath disappear when Kata hits? Yes. Your characters will be moved to Cataclysm. There are no plans for a Wrath era server at this point in time, so yes. People can enable it. I don't know if that's like not possible because of layering and stuff. Maybe it is possible. Um, again, just throwing the idea out there. Voidwalker. Yeah, I, I need to go train. Um, I I meant to train and then I, I talked to a quest and it sent me on a mount somewhere. So uh, I, I shall go and train that very soon. I'm going to get... I can feel the cutscene right now. I can feel it. There you are. I've been expecting you. I got word of your recovery and... Wait. Do you feel that? Look at what's become of Duskhaven. Look, look at what's become the last safe place in Gilneas. I knew it. Whoa. I feel like we're missing some sound here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like we're missing some sound from that cutscene. Gen's eyes are blue, the correct colour. Not in this one. Is there any Kata Fresh servers? Uh, no, they have not been announced at the moment, no. Okay, well... Huh? Okay, I can't get on the carriage. Can I just hearth? Where do I hearth to? I hearth to Greymane Manor. Oh, I'm already here. Yeah, I'll just go down. It's fine. Oh, well, okay, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. I see, I see. Main and Kata are already or also playing other versions. Yeah, I'll be playing, um, definitely going to be playing Season of Discovery as updates come out, but... Uh, expansions just have a lot of content. It's like Season of Discovery is cool, but... It's got, there's going to be a lot of stuff to do in Kata. And the thing is, I already kind of know I like Kata. Um, I imagine the future content in Sod will be cool as well, but... I am looking forward to uh, a bit more challenging PvE content, personally. That is something I know I enjoy. Uh, so hop on here. Ooh, general goods. It ain't here. It ain't nowhere. Okay. What? No tip. No. You vaguely remember there was no sound. Maybe all right, yeah. It just it just felt missing, you know. Even if it's correct, it's like it doesn't feel right. It's kind of classic out. Not yet. This is the beta. It will probably release. This is we don't know when it will release, but maybe June, July ish. The Eastern play. Yeah, the EPL quest. I remember that very well. You get on the exact same cabin. You have like a crew, and you like go between different towers in EPL. It's weird why that's the way you remember it. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, do I think they're going to stop at Kata or keep going? Let me tell you something. If they're doing Cataclysm, they're doing Mists of Pandaria. Now, if you want to play a monk, as it was in Mop, like, uh, come back in like 18 months and you'll be able to play a monk in Mop Classic. Like, I guarantee you it will happen. There's no doubt. I also think they're going to do WAD, which is going to be memed into Oblivion. Um, purely for the purpose of getting to Legion. And after Legion, I really don't know anymore. Legion's like kind of the cut off. Oh, I'm going I'm to have to train my Voidwalker like Gilneas. later. For my people. For Gilneas. Well, there's a lot of rescuing people involved in this. Go up here. Become progressive? Yeah, kind of. And, uh... Wouldn't mind what with faster releases? I mean, if you like raiding and that's the main thing you do, then yeah, uh, a lot of people do say it was good. If you're a raiding enjoyer, then I don't see, uh, see why you wouldn't give it a go, and I think a lot of people would give it a go. Look 
how fast you skin stuff. Have they stop after mop, uh, mop? Yeah, I mean, it's it, whatever. I mean, we're at Kata now, so I, I I don't know if you can say you have a bad take anymore. It's kind of just a take that you think will happen. Can you imagine four years ago on the release of Classic that we actually would have the Cataclysm Classic beta right now? Like, can you imagine telling people then that we're going to get Kata? They'd, they'd like laugh you out the room. There'd be no shot. Ever, ever, like zero percent, and now here we are. Oh, wrong one. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's going to go quite far. Well, they'd reset after Wrath. I at least thought they'd do Wrath Era. I'm, I'm thinking of making a video about it, really, but. I still think they're kind of missing an opportunity not doing TBC or Wrath Era. And it wouldn't significantly divide the community in a big way. And it'd make people who like those expansions very happy. Well, well becomes well fatigue if you've uh, spent a lot of time playing SOD. Yeah, that's, um, it's just MMOs. They're very, very time intensive. I wouldn't say it's unique to WoW. It's just, uh... Might be overdoing it a little bit. It's always fun to take a break. Um, it's just the beta at the moment for Kata, so there's really no there's no need to like rush and play it anytime soon. Okay, let's get that and return. Yes. Had you missed out on TBC? If I'm honest, it it wasn't my favorite personally, uh, but there's definitely a crowd of people who like it. And at the end of the day, classic is all about re-releasing expansions as they once were. Like vanilla, when they first released the classic era, it was dead for a very, very, very long time, and then it started gaining popularity. And if classic era didn't exist, we would have never got hardcore servers. By the way. Like, I guarantee you, wouldn't have happened. And nowadays, they've got a raiding population on them. So, maybe they just take a bit of time to find their feet. But they're a worthwhile endeavour in the long run. I, I, I really doubt they're going to do fresh Kata after how fresh uh, Wrath went. Didn't they have to like merge the fresh Wrath servers because they just became completely dead? Level nine, one more level, and uh, I get I get my first talent point. And you're gonna see if you don't know how talents work in Kata yet, you're gonna see that you get a lot more than just one talent point at level ten. I'm gonna be getting my Felguard. Or what? Hmm, do I go Felguard? I feel like I do go Felguard, right? Yeah, I just think the fresh servers they have a they have a short lifespan, which might be fun, but they're they're just not going to be long term. If you play them with that in mind, they're probably quite fun. But I really don't see them lasting for too long. A lot of versions of WoW, you do. You have retail, you have wrath, you're soon to have Kata, you have season of discovery, you have hardcore, you have self found hardcore, and you have error. So. uh... And for one subscription, I I don't know, seems fairly decent to me. Wow. We're just taking this banner. I'm not killing him, are we? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm not killing him any day. Got 7k health. I'll get destroyed. $15. I, I'm, I mean, I'm kind of fine with paying 15 for what it is. I don't mind it. Um, live service game and all that. Maybe I would mind it more if there was, you know, the MTX that they have in retail, but we don't have that in Classic. In Stormblood. Okay, I'm going down here. 
no inflation. Um, have they never raised it? I'm thinking of RuneScape and Jagex. They've raised their sub P like twice, I think. Yo, Patrick, this is the beta. Uh, we're still a while off the pre-patch. Liam's voice. Yes, I, I don't really give Liam the time of day there. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, see you later, bro. I've got I've got places to be. Get, yeah, I'm, I'm get Gabin. He's Gabin. I'm going. All right, simple as that. Uh, now, every classic expansion has been free. You've never had to rebuy them again. Class trainers. Where's Warlock? Uh, I'll find it in a moment. What can I do for you? That's enough gabbing for me today. Kill stuff. All right, can do. Oh, it's got the buck on the map. Yeah, I really like the update with the buck on the map. What's this? Lorna. Make it quick. Innkeeper. I Might as well update my innkeeper as well. Bought t you bought TBC. Is that even possible, Bronlock? Did you uh you go on you go on eBay and you're like, damn bro, I need some collector's edition or I can't play TBC Classic. Here we go. We've been walled up for far too long. So we've got Drain Life, Demon Armor, Summon Void Walker, Conjure Hellstone. Nice. Alright, let's uh do some key binding. We'll put you there. And Summon Demons just want you should be able to key bind this, you can't. We'll just summon a Void Walker, see what he does. Is that it? Demon Armor. That there. What abilities does he have? Uh, it's not showing at the moment. I guess I need Control Demon. Yeah, I need Control Demon before that work. Oh, and also buffs don't have a duration anymore, I don't think. You just apply them and they exist. That's the beta. Uh, it is you opt in on that link. That'll show up in a moment. There you go. And that'll get you sorted. It seems like they're kind of inviting everyone at the moment, so... Yeah, just opt in there. You should be good. And no problem. I've been back in BFA, but when you made a war and realized the old class trainers you could buy skills that were still there. Let me get arcane intellect earlier than I should have. Huh. That's a bit of a unique discovery. It's kind of weird, right? If there's so many expansions and content piled on top of one another, you're bound to f you're like bound to find some stuff that shouldn't be there, but it's not really a problem. Opted in GL. You you should, they're inviting tons of people now, tons of people. So uh, hopefully you get in before the weekend and can enjoy it. How long can you level? Uh, I think it's 1 to 80 at the moment. I, uh, I'm i probably just doing the starting zones, to be fair, to see how well they're wor working. And because I haven't played the Wargan or Goblin starting zones in... I don't know how many years, so this is... I remember nothing. So this is great right now. I'm just leveling through these zones, seeing what's up. Starting zones are nostalgic. Yeah, they've always been nice, haven't they? How much does this heal? Plus four. Yeah, not the best. Beta uh, progress transfer. Nah, this is uh, this is all temporary. Just treat it as a bit of fun for the moment if you really want to check it out. When launch happens, or when pre-patch happens for that matter, none of this will be kept as it is. My Voidwalker's kind of doing some damage though. Look at this wand animation. Holy, I'm straight out of Hogwarts. Was there? Not a huge, huge fan of the goblin one. The goblin one is, uh, it's definitely more like, what's the word? Wacky? Is that the, is that the right word? It's like way less. The 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 Wargan one is super serious. We're like facing this this deadly ancient curse, and we're trying to like free ourselves from bloodshed and all this stuff. And the goblin one's like, yo, we need to make lots of money. 
uh, you'll go be beat these people up and get their money, and then ride around in a car that plays music to you. It's uh, it's it's pretty different. I think I prefer the Wargam one myself. Right, let's go over here. Get a little sprint on. Mind you of Total Biscuit, yeah. Remember there's uh he started doing a lot of cat stuff back in the day. And I think some of Preacher's earliest videos from Kata too. Ooh. I can get over here. Yeah. I don't know about my Void Walker though. No, he's going the long way. Uh oh. If I pull three things, I'm actually dead, by the way. I am squishy as hell right now. Yeah. See the health bar just disappearing. And I cannot control my demon either, so I need to kill this guy and then get my uh, Void Walker to taunt the other one. Whenever you're ready. Alright, final help. There we go. He got, he got around to it eventually, he just needed a moment. Got to be careful out here, though. An amount of health pots as well. Like, straight up without heirlooms, Cataclysm leveling is, uh... It's... It's, like, faster than vanilla because you have more abilities and less downtime, but if you pull too many things, you just die. Like, you straight up just die. You cannot take hits at all. I don't know how other classes feel. But as a warlock right now, I'm squishy as hell. I'm literally a piece of paper. It's like sod. It, yeah, it's a kind of a good comparison, right? Sod, it's like you're powerful, but you're also squishy. Your mobs hit you really hard. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think that's kind of right. Didn't like Thrall making Gallywix a faction leader. Have you seen Gallywix in the Goblin starting zone? He looks completely different. I don't know when they reworked his model to be like this disgusting guy. But like, in in the starting zone, he just looks like some regular goblin dude in some fancy clothes riding around on a spider tank. At 10, you become OP. What do you get at 10 on, on rare? Is it Crusader Strike? Uh, let's go in here. About halfway to 10. And when we get 10, we are going to be very powerful. Let me tell you what. What can I do for you? Templar's Verdict. You need, you need Holy Power for Templar's Verdict there. I don't know if... Maybe you do get Holy Power at 10. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what that's what Templar's Verdict does. That's enough gabbing for me today. All right. Uh, pop those on. Lovely. Over the, the, yeah, the gluttony caught up. Apparently so. Yeah, XP from mining and herd nodes. I haven't been paying attention. I think you do, though, yeah. Word of glory at nine. I'll, I'll try and, like, pay attention next time I skin something, but I'm pretty... No, we just found a volunteer. Uh, okay, no one look. This is a deadly wolf. Um, uh, there's nothing there, okay? But I can't even skin him! Right. Fine. <laughs> Unfortunate. Um, it's it's okay. He was, he was turning into a worgen. <laughs> you like your huskies. Ah, you like a lot of noise, do you? I see. It, it was. It, it's. It's just beta, okay? It's not a real dog. I wouldn't have done that on live servers. I had to. <laughs> Calling pets right now. No, no wait. Wait, wait. The, the, someone asked me to. You love a husky? I think they make a lot of noise, like... A lot of noise and they're like hyperactive when i have pets with my parents we always have border collies whoa what's this freezing trap animation hello oh yeah 
Is, the, is this just me now? Or am I just a block? Okay, I'm free of the block of ice. And, oh, that's it. Okay, go back. You do get XP from herbing and stuff. Yeah, I think it's just bugged. Um, or it's not in the game at the moment, one or the other. Pet bar's missing. I'm not sure if it's missing or I just don't have c control demon yet, so I can't give commands to my pet. Um, I will see at level 10. What brings you I think it shouldn't be there yet, though. Pop those on. Whoa. Damn, looking good. Ooh, I don't remember this bit. It's, it's kind of like, a bit like Azure Mist style with all the red everywhere. Okay, I, I would test the skinning, but if I if I kill a fox, people are also going to be mad. So, I'll uh, I'll skin something that actually attacks me. Okay, that's the deal. Damn, look at this. Don't remember this at all. Pretty fancy. Yeah, an Emerald Nightmare. It is, isn't it? Hal Doran. The Stags. Yes, Stags. They'll do. We will prevail. We do what we must. We okay, one more quest. Uh, I might go back straight back to town after doing this. I'm in fact, I'm going to kill some mob, then go back to town, because I want to get 10. Um, and there's a quest, uh, up, class trainer up here. Yeah, right. Yeah, random night elf. They're like, yo, how would you like uh, some, a nice looking dress? Okay, so Moonleaf. Oh, this is for the quest, not herbing. Totally UK problem. Yeah, they, that used to be a thing. They, uh, they outlawed that uh, some time ago. Okay, I literally just need to kill something of anything. Fine, we'll go, we'll go over here and kill something, and then I'm going to go level 10, then I'm going to go train. We'll kill a banshee. There it is, level 10. So, this is, uh, this is one of the big changes to the uh, systems in Cataclysm. So you hit level 10 and you instantly have to pick a talent tree. And your talent trees are now like locked in until you've spent 31 points in that tree. So when you pick a tree, you, you're like, you're committed. That's that's like your main talent tree now. Just work out I'm going here. Just joined and I ding 10. Are you good luck? Apparently. Uh, so my choices here are, I can go Affliction and get Unstable Affliction, which is just... It's the same way it's always worked, essentially. And Shadow Mastery, which gives me 30% bonus shadow damage. That's pretty chunky. Um, but Affliction, they, when you're leveling, things die too fast, so uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, all dots will crit by default as well, if if they're working. Um, all Yeah, all dots crit by default, and they benefit from haste. Also, dots with haste changes too, so... um. You know how in Wrath, when you have loads of haste, you apply a dot, and its duration goes down from like 18 seconds to 8 seconds? Instead of doing that, now it increases the number of times it ticks in, over its base duration, uh, which gives you haste caps and stuff, which is much better design than Wrath. Uh, which I'm also looking forward to as a Warlock. Um, but anyway, yeah, I wouldn't recommend this for loving. And you have Destruction, which has Con Flag. Again, that does kind of what it's always, always done. And then it... Um, Deals fire damage equal to 60% of your immolate's periodic damage. It doesn't say it consumes immolate, which is quite nice. And you're also getting Cataclysm for more fire damage. Your favourite change? It's actually such a big deal. Um, I, I love it. <laughs> I, I can't wait for that. I, I, I kind of wish they put Pandemic in, if you know what I mean, from Mop. Or was it Wad? It was Mop or Wad. You know, Pandemic, where you like where you refresh a debuff and it like adds to its max duration. I, I, actually, I also enjoyed that. But anyway, uh, and then Demonology, we have Summon Felguard. That's a big deal. 
and Demonic Knowledge, which increases both Fire and Shadow spell damage. So I am going to go Demonology. And I am going to put my first talent point in... Hmm. I feel like I'm going to be going 3 here, 2 here. Increase the Fogel's Legion Strike. I think I'll just go 1 in Fel Synergy for the moment, just so my, my pet's always topped off. You don't like demo? I'm a big demo enjoyer. Yeah, Harelia. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Exactly that. Yeah, it was just for just a talent for everyone. In yeah, it was yeah lock specific, and it was like fifty percent of a dot's duration, and then they gave it to everyone. And they lowered it to like twenty or thirty. So I'm gonna learn my first talent point, and that is instantly gonna give me demonic knowledge and my new demon. So I'm level ten, and I have Belgard. Actually, I'll get Control Demon in case it bugs first. And I need to resummon. So I get Drain Soul, Control Demon, Soul Burn, which is new, and. Apparently, that's it. Okay. So, Soul Burn is what we use shards on now. So, I now have um, shards up here. So, shards are not in your bag anymore. They are something which you just kind of generate. You can still get them through Drain Soul, or you can get them through Soul Harvest, which is here. I'll get that level 12. That generates shards and health out of combat. Yeah, I just don't have that yet. But Soul Burn basically empowers a bunch of spells. So I could put Soul Burn here, and then Summon Felguard. And I could press Soul, Guard, Soul Burn into Summon, like that. So I instantly have a demon out. So yeah, it's pretty powerful. Definitely nice to have. As my Felguard, he's got his action bars working here now. Seems to be good. There should be pet assist here and move too, so this isn't correct as for the pet bar. I'm pretty sure you have move too and assist instead of aggressive and uh, stay. Yep, yeah, my, my main man, Leash Vazul. Just so you know, if you dual spec and then switch trees, go back to original, you lose the ability that comes with a spec. Oh, oh crap. Okay, well, yeah, I, I, I won't be doing that then. That's bad. And what else did I have? Yeah, my summon demon should be working now. We'll just do one of these. Put that on keybinding. Yeah, it seems to be working. Even life stay still exists. I just assume they get rid of it because stay and move two are kind of the same thing, right? You can just move two and do it as a mouth, uh, do it as a act cursor. Think they should add the retail walking ability Calm the Wolf. It also changes you back to human form after combat ends. And it was added in 10.1, similar to Evoker. Uh yeah, yeah, sure. Uh that would actually be kind of nice. Yeah, I would be all I'd be all for that, why not? For the moment, I guess you'd have to Where's Aberration? Aberration. Two forms? Wait, can I not shift back yet? Wait, am I crazy? Can you not shift between Worgen and human form? Huh? Uh, the Oh, I'm not there yet, okay. Not until... Oh, later on. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I was like, I swear you can do this. <laughs> and, uh, I just can't see the option. Wait, is my pet... Is the key binding not working for attack? Bars, key bindings, targeting, pet. Pet attack. Yep, got unbound somehow. And passive. Yeah, okay, alright, fine. That's good, it's working then. 
<clears throat> it does a bunch of damage though. Uh, so I need two more Banshees. He doesn't have his... In fact, they, I don't think Felguards have charge anymore. They just get a uh, move speed increase. Which is better than having a charge, because sometimes that charge would stun stuff, and it would stun things in a really bad place. Like on Lich King 25 Heroic, your, your Felguards can like randomly charge the Shambling Horrors. And they get stunned somewhere super bad and then melee run into them and then it shockwaves them and everyone dies and you're just like crap i hope nobody noticed what just happened there <laughs> but yeah then getting rid of the stun on this is actually good i think they have axe toss instead now it's like a, a targeted four second stun no, I, I think it's just a movement speed increase now uh called pursuit i think can i see this no you can't see your demon's future abilities that's a shame. Is that correct? Because that would well, that would have been nice to see as well. So I know what they're getting when. Hmm. I do not know. Oh wait, assist is here. And so is move two. Oh. Okay. Yo, you're right. They do exist. They're just not on here by default. All right. Well, if you're if you're playing a pet class, I would recommend uh, you put him on assist, and then you don't have to worry about using attack macros and stuff. All right. Cool. Well, go intercept removed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, I'm like I'm actually glad it was removed because um, in PvE it could really do bad stuff. And it just it just charges random stuff that you're not even you don't even want it to. It just it feels like it picks up a target and it's like, oh, a target's in ranged. I have this charge thing on autocast. I am going to charge them. I think it's working. Uh yeah, you're right. Unless Yeah, you're yeah, it's not working. Well, okay, it's in the game, but it's not working. Wait. That. Let's do a soul burn drain life. Whoa. See that drain life tick there? It's like instant. The soul burn, it like reduces its cast time by like, yeah, 50%. Big heals. It was added back in in BFA, was it? Because, um, actually, I played a bit of Warlock then. I, I swear they had Axtos still. Or maybe the charge doesn't stun. The, the bit that was the problem was it stunning. Because it was like, you didn't always want that to happen. I don't believe we're in Kata already. It feels like yesterday Classic was released. I actually feel that, yeah. I, I do agree. It's, uh... I guess what, you know what they say. Time goes by fast when you're having fun. And Classic was fun. They already added some add-ons. I saw the add-on folder was in the game now, but... I'm not going to worry too much about add-ons. Oh, okay. I was looking at how many mobs are here, and I'm like, there must be some kind of trick. Alright, so they're all distracted. I'm going to sprint in and do a bit of yoinking. Unless that guy does first. Thank you. Meta's so fun pre-Legion. I tell you what, um, when we get mop, not if, when, when we get mop, if they release Demo on its final patch, Demo's going to be like the biggest letdown ever because Demo and mop was absolutely cracked how good it was to play. But then they, they nerfed it to Oblivion in the last patch, didn't they? Didn't Ian Azacostas make a post saying, basically, we, we can't balance Demo Lock, so we're just going to nerf it. And then you had to go play AF or something. Maybe I'm making that up. I seem to remember that. But through the rest of the expansion, like you had Kill Jaden's Cunning, so you can like cast on the move, you have meta, you have like immolation aura, hellfire on the move, you had all your cooldowns, you had Doom Guard, it's like it's it's so good. Yeah, I remember the like. Yeah, because we don't want you to play Demonology. Yeah, I, I, I swear I remember something like that. I was like, damn you, Ian. Why have you done this? 
If they release demo in that state, I'm gonna I, when we get to mop, I will make a video about that and I will say we Blizzard, give us the demonology we deserve. Okay? Not this nerf crap, because we don't want you to play it. Just give us the give us the good version. Do you know what I mean? Allies are hereby ordered to serve along the king's army. Holy, it's kicking off. Crowley! You and your elven allies are hereby ordered to serve along the king's army. Cursed or not, you are still bound by Gilmay. Does this toad speak for you, Gan? Do you come to our dwelling as a friend, or do you come as a tyrant? No, old friend. I come to you as an equal. Yo, it's Gan. The original Gan. Impossible. No way. It is not law that binds us. It is something far stronger. My men are ready to give their lives under your command. It is decided then. Uh, we will not blue. all Gilneans and drive the Forsaken from our lands. So I guess this is the uh, split between Godfrey and the others. And uh, the Worgen, who are going to strike their own path, and now I imagine I'm going to go join the Alliance. If I had to hazard a guess. And my Falgard's gone, so I left him on stay. Uh, that's fine. Straight into another one. Whoa, Soulburn's so much fun, actually. I need to... Uh, Need to drain some souls though. Later on you get this ability called Soul Harvest, which is kind of like... I know how to explain it. It's like... Sort of like evocation, but on a short cooldown. You seek out nearby wondering souls regenerating 45% health and three, uh, 3 shards over 9 seconds. But you can't cast it in combat. The B oh, they got, right they got it right in BFA then. Okay. That's a plus one for BFA then, I guess. I bet you keybound. Is that interesting? Oh yeah, so um, I use I use the SDF to move. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I just do keybinds this way. I've got so many comments about this, but yeah, my movement keys look like this. Wait, huh? <laughs> Wait, I'm not using up and down and S and F. Like, holy crap, how would I even be playing the game? I've got like, I've actually got three arms or something. I'm using E. Wait. I'm using E for forwards, D for backwards, S and F. But it's, oh, the second, okay, the secondary keys, yeah. I was just like, what the hell for a moment. But yeah. That is how I do it. Right, so Gwen. Find Krenna. Right, we're going back up here then. So I guess I'm going in the coach. Nope, just further along the road. I guess there's... Is there quite a bit this zone left then? So I'm level 10 already. I don't know. How far do Kata starting zones go? If defensive. I'm going to check if defensive works. Whether the pet bar as a whole just spoke. Okay, defensive works. Not all of them are the same. Mm, fair enough. Okay, okay. I do not remember. I have not done this in a very long time. And Hund is, uh, Hund's popping off right there. We'll leave him on assist in case he changes his mind about that working. Do you use S or backpedal? Backpedaling, like, it's it's something you're told is really bad, but it, it, it can actually be useful at times. It does have its place, um, unironically. Well, you know, to 14, yeah, I mean, we'll just carry on. How long have I been on? Eh, not too long. Yeah, we'll carry on for a bit longer. Well, All right, Mr. Aranus. Uh, we live 
Oh, we got a hat. Wait, I can't see the hat. Eh? This is criminal. Oh, this is going to be a big quest here. What's the caster in stealth mode until cancelled? Up here. Like pedal to interrupt your own cast. It's mainly just when like tanking stuff, to be honest. Um, like, or just backing out of a room while ki while you're still hitting things. It definitely has its place. Okay. Oh, it auto despawns your pet. That's good. So, do these watchmen have stealth detection? I think they have a little eye above their head nowadays, don't they? Um. I feel like, are these guys not meant to be here yet, or? Where am I going? Mm, I'll follow the road round. Okay, yeah, he has detection. Oh, no, it's the dog. The dog has detection. I see their little eye. He's only level 7, though, so I should be able to just sneak around here pretty easy. What are all these sheep on the road? Bit of a classic Andy, but you're excited for something other than the uh, same zones again. I think that's part of it, yeah. Like, I, I don't remember any of this stuff at all. I did this probably once, like, 14 years ago. It's scary to think, but that's how long ago Kata was. 13 or 14 years. 13, I guess. I can just... Ooh, just about get... Wait, what am I meant to do here? Just attack them, or do I poison them, or... I think you just attack them, right? I guess I'll wait for him to come back inside. He's wandered off now. I'm gonna tag in with someone else here. Okay, it's a shared tag. Oh no, it's not a shared tag. There we go, getting that. Nice. And the other one may as well stay in a group for it, unless he's already done it. Can I dark fight during this? Oh, you can. Nice. Nice touch. Wait for him to be back. Um, yeah, I guess uh, whatever I just did work too. I guess it's fine when there's two of you. Ooh. And he ran straight through him. Oh, okay, he has pulled the other two. I don't have any shards. Alright, fine, let's just go. Let's do it the old fashioned way. Wait, he's doing so much damage. Do you even. You don't need to stealth for this, do you? It just feels like you kill them. Yeah, I, sh I should have drained. Oh, I'm dumb. Oh well. Oh, stealth. Moving forward to Catter and Mot more than Wrath. I mean, yeah, there, there will be people who do. For sure. Alright, next guy. So, like, why do you have to stealth? Is it just like a flavor quest? You don't really have to, do you? Remember this being a bit harder. Yeah, it feels kind of weird. Like, they're, they're giving you this consumable to stealth, but then... Yeah, it just, it's not like, it doesn't feel very necessary, does it? No, I thought if I didn't stealth, there'd be some, mo like, elitish mob that would just absolutely destroy me. But, uh, apparently not. Alright, easy. Remember Katarin implemented the on-stream graphics for Prox? Yeah, yeah, that was Kata. That was Kata for sure. Their numbers yeah that maybe that's the uh, risky part i feel like this is a bit weird like these guys are here and there's technically a, a... gilneas will rise again my people have oh you have my undivided attention if only i could I, I think something's not quite working there 
might sooner Your die than have one of today. your kind for a king. I don't know. I get a top hat though. Why is my top hat invisible, Liz? This is a bug. This is the worst bug I've seen the beta so far. How are you going to give me a top hat and then make it invisible? What kind of cruelty is this? This should definitely have some like appearance, right? Or is it some like flavor item? I'm, I'm going to have to check this somewhere ahead. Less weak was? Uh huh. He was hostile at the time, but friendly. It's kind of weird though. Like there's free. There's, there's some friendly NPCs, but then they're hostile. But is, are these sending these guys sending on a secret mission that these guys wouldn't have known about? I'm not sure. Show helm is disabled. Oh, good point. Good points. Show helm. Me toggle it. I'll toggle it off. Okay, I just toggled cloak and that one got hidden. I'll do a quick reload. And then I will toggle them back on. Show. You can see the capes come back on. But the helm is... Uh... Wait, slash RL doesn't work. You have to type full on reload. You can do slash RL in Wrath. Maybe that's an add-on. Yeah, that's bugged. I'm gonna have... This is the biggest bug anyone's ever seen in the game. Um... Not showing on character. That'll do. Yeah, I, I had to look it up on Wowhead as well. You can look at this fella. Where's my hat? Come on, Blizz. I demand my hat. Are other helmets visible? I have not received another one yet. Uh, so I don't know. The worst, but it is. I, I demand my fashionable hat. Right, I think we're running... Where's my hearth? My Storm Glen village. That's down here. Okay, well, we're running then. We're running. It's an LVI. Oh, I don't use LVI. It might be Eliatrix, though. It's only a few more letters, though, isn't it? Go human. I can't. Oh, wait, I can. Aha. Wait, that's on now. Oh, it's just not visible in Morgan form. Interesting. Well, um, yeah, well, it's too late now. I've uh, reported it. Two forms. Wait, where's the proper uh, changing animation? Is that in the game? Isn't that meant to be an animation? There's meant to be an animation, isn't there? Where you're like, oh, I'm a worgen, ah, and then you're like, when there's a big black smoke thing, you turn to a worgen. There's definitely an animation. Yeah, that's a bug. Um, yeah, well, we're gonna we're gonna do some honest reporting. No, animate. Animation between Wargun Human or the two forms uh, ability. There you go. See, I'm helping. The hat should show on the wolf. Yeah, if I like, if I knew that I could specify it didn't show on the wolf, then it'll be fine though. Like they can, they'll check. They'll probably be able to see that I reported it when I was a Wargun, not a human. Yeah, I should. I, I probably could have reported. Like, I didn't report the water bug because there's going to be like a billion reports for that already. But I assume people have reported this, but maybe not everyone knows there should be an animation. There's like, when you turn to a Drak Thea, there's like some like spinny fire thing around you, right? But it's not like some. The Wargan animation is pretty. O it's, it's kind of over the top. Bum, bum. Doo -doo. <laughs> All right, I found you guys the, the highest quality video I could possibly find for what this should look like. Wargan transformation footage from BlizzCon 09. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, see, this is what this is what it should look like. Okay. And then yeah, you go back like that. 
That's what it looks like on live. This this is this is it. It's kind of the same for the female model too. So yeah. And instead it's like boop. <laughs> you just you just teleport between them. You report everything. Even if it's hundreds of reports. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, I should do really with everything, which I think is not working. That is at the end of the day, the, the, the point of us doing this. It's to uh, get the game working because we want the game to work well, you know. Wait, can you sprint while in human form? Oh, I cannot transform right now. I guess that, that seems to be working as intended. I don't think I should be able to use dark form as a human or quick. dark flight. What is it? Make it Any quick. friend of Grey Mane is a friend of mine. Ain't you a shipper looking one? That's enough gabbing for me today. There's more class train. I love how many class trainers there are. They're like following you around as well. What's your story? And train anything else? No, I'm Fair still well. ten, aren't I? <laughs> Right, I will be our back quick. Do not waste my time, lesser creature. Why, hello there. Yeah, on live you can select when you're going to walk in the form and it'll swap back. They, Yeah, they should put that in uh, this as well. I don't see why not. I don't think it'd be like... It's, it's not a bad thing in any way. You just, you know, you can be walking in combat and you can not be walking out of combat. I mean, why not, I guess, right? Ooh. Free skinning. Yeah, no XP. Skinning, uh, professions should definitely give XP, right? Let me check. Gathering, XP. <laughs> no changes. Yeah. If anyone says no changes in Kata, then... Yeah. <laughs> oh, skinning doesn't grant XP. Yeah, Magical, you're right. You right? Know your stuff. New to 4.01. New to the patch 4.01. Mining, herbalism... And archaeology grant XP. Skinning does not grant XP. So did I get did I get herbalism? I got skinning leather working. Ah. Well, working is intended then, I guess. Working as intended. Right, I need to kill some stags. Any stags?
drain soul as well. Get when you drain, you uh, get three shards back, I think. Yep, all three. So it's uh, a lot easier to maintain your shards now. So I know, um, I know, professions gave XP and mop. There was that um, double agent. You know the Pandaren guy. You guys all know. Who? Yeah, he got to level cap in like every single expansion on the Wandering Isle, like the Pandaren starting zone. He just did it through gathering stuff. Absolutely crazy achievement. Yes, yeah, so there's not much point skinning stuff then. Yeah, I wonder why not skinning. I guess skinning's like so much easier to grind rather than uh, herbalism or the other stuff. So if I could get XP from skinning, I could just like sit around this zone and farm stuff, couldn't I? He's still playing, yeah. I, I remember reading like he got level cap in. I think it was BFA the last time I heard about it, but okay, it's just like the occasional post that pops up on Wowhead, you know. You can skin everyone else's stuff. Uh, yeah, 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 you're right, you could. Nothing stopping you from doing that. Probably would be OP, wouldn't it? Difficult to balance. And you're already getting XP for killing the animal. True. A lot of good points, though. So, yeah, I guess I guess that's why they never did it, huh? Talking about double agent. The, the, yeah, well, the one and only. Only one man would be uh, dedicated and crazy enough to do that. Makes him stand out, though. People know who he is. What's your story? What's your back? Now he's level 11. Uh, so next we need to go over here. Get one more talent point. So... Uh, reduce the cast time of your... In, you know, Legion Strike. Bellguards get... Um, Bladestorm, whatever it's called in, in Kata, right? Bellstorm. Yeah, I think I'll just get one point there. I think that they do. Actually, yeah, yeah, they do. I remember seeing it in some videos. So if you're playing a demo lock, you're going to have Bellstorm, you're going to have Immolation Aura, and there's a talent down here? Question mark? No, here. Where is it? Hang on. Yeah, enables you to channel Hellfire while moving and increases the duration of your Immolate by six seconds. So you can have Immolation Aura and you can be channeling Hellfire as a uh, <laughs> as a meta lock and just run around and stuff and do so much AoE. Kind of fun. Remember in TBC on Wrath, you thought you had to save the talent points. Oh no. So you could get the cool stuff at the bottom. Oh, like you see the thing at the bottom, you're like, hmm, this costs 71 talent points. Gee, I'm going I'm to have to do a bunch of saving up here if I ever want to get this. Also in Kata, you do get a few, you do get talent points per one level for a bit. I think it's like between, you get one at 10, 11 and 12, I think, and then between 80 and 85, or 81 and 85. And after that, it's one per two levels. So yeah, occasionally you do get one point per uh, one level. Yeah, that is that is some hardcore variant that, uh, Giga Iron Man level. 81 to 10, oh, it's just 10 and 11, is it? And 81 to 85. Yeah, that, that maths out. Because I don't know, people like it's crazy. People are like, oh, you get so you get so few talent points. You know, you don't get something every level, and I'm like, bro, it's something every two levels. And leveling's pretty quick. Like, I, I don't know. I I think you do get st a lot of stuff while leveling still. If you want to point to an expansion and say, where are my stuff for leveling up? You can point to Mr. Pandaria, where they give you one talent per 15 levels. But Kata? I, I don't know. It's, it's 
it still feels like I'm getting a bunch of stuff from leveling. Mop made a misstep on that. To be fair, um, I will never say class design was bad in Mop, but maybe it felt like you're not you're not kind of getting something as often, if you know what I mean. Wonder if they could have lowered the cap and made it back into one per one level. Ah, maybe, but it's like it'd be such an enormous change just for one talent point per one level. It, it'd probably be kind of too disruptive to how things are designed to be really worth doing. Last of Dime was good, talents were not. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, Mop was like, they put so much stuff into your class. Like, Mop, you, you had your, you had your baseline class abilities, and then you had your spec abilities. Like, I don't think, I think it was in Mop that if you're a fire mage, you don't have Frostbolt or Arcane Missiles anymore. And to actually learn Arcane Missiles, you had to be Arcane. And they like split stuff up super hard. This guy's inside the mine, isn't he? I've just run out of the mine. I should have carried on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, thought so. Keep the can of talent trees in classic mop. Um, again, I think it'd be like kind of too disruptive to the gameplay experience. It's, it's different, but it kind of is what it is at the same time. Everyone playing lock on the uh, beta? Are they really? Um, I, for me, I just... We had Nax music. Hold on. The violin. Uh, no, I just... I, I play lock. I play lock either way. <laughs> but yeah, demo is kind of good. Ooh. The Nax music. Whoa. Spooky. All right, let's uh, go down here. Frank's season of discovery will continue past vanilla. Um, if I'm being honest, I, I like 99% no. I very, very, very much doubt it. I, I think Sod will do season of discovery stuff. And judging on how well Blizzard believes it's gone, there may be something afterwards which kind of builds on it. But I think it's just going to be for vanilla. There he is. Hello, Avariv. I'm good. Thank you very much. Oh, my pet followed me down. Holy. The really insane mechanics. Are there any changes from original Katza so far? I... Thinking... Nope. No, it, they kind of made it out like there was going to be at BlizzCon, but they... They sort of said that, and then they haven't changed anything yet. So, we're, st we're still waiting on that. He used to be elite. Damn, he got downgraded, huh? Too hard, I guess. Where am I from? I am from the United Kingdom. Bit more of a challenge. Yeah, <laughs> not so much anymore, eh? Oh, Outrunning. Let's go hand this one in. Nice country, yeah, apart from the weather. But it's uh, part of our duty as British people to complain about the weather, mainly because it's bad. Oh, okay. I'm in danger. The big soul burn drain life here. Oh, look at the healing. This is going to heal my pet as well, because I took the uh, talent, whatever it was called. No. I don't have heal pets. Yeah. 
F for Liege Vazul. Alright, see you later. You're from London? Alright, bit further south than me. Don't try it, but yeah, Murlocs, uh, Murlocs are little uh, zoomers. They go way too fast. I keep stopping to summon my demon because I'm, I'm so used to like having the half second cast thing from uh, the master summoner trait or talent, whatever it's called. What is it? And that one get is. Going. Oh, my bags are full. Any yep, general goods here? Paying customers only. I'm gonna be a selling customer today. Let's sell this and that. Let me buy back my skinny knife. Oh man, I, <laughs> there's one of these times when you miss add-ons. You're like, please just sell my junk for me. I don't want to try and have to work out which items are somewhat useful here. And it's a beta, isn't it? Like, why am I even looking? Just eat everything. That's a good word, eh? Any friend of Greymane is a friend of mine. Right, where are we going? Oh. Make it quick. I prefer a few add-ons. Yeah, I'm a bit of an add-on. I, I still use a very basic UI, but some things I uh, I can kind of doing without. You know, I can I can let an add-on do them. Hey, number two, Adam. But he had two hate comments for Cat today. I'd, I'd consider that not bad. Not bad for the first at uh, Cat stream. Only two. I'd consider that uh, reasonable. Do this. Oh, these guys bugged. Well, that's kind of weird. They reset there. Try this guy again. Literally four different versions of the game. Yeah, I mean, just uh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go to people on retail and be like, damn it, I hate, re I'm not going to go retail streamers and be like, damn it, I hate retail. I mean, I, I don't, but like, hypothetically, let's say I did. I'm not going to do it because I'm like, okay, I've got, I've got all the classic versions I could possibly want here. It's just, uh, it's a bit unnecessary, isn't it? I'm going to have to kill this guy again. could see cut content like the Abyssal Moor. Oh, if they did the Abyssal Moor, Kata would be such a good expansion. I unfortunately don't think they will, but it it could really add something to the uh, experience of the expansion. Because your the idea between Kata was you had the four elemental raids, right? You got Firelands for fire. You got Throwing the Four Winds for air. You have... What was Earth? We summon another pet. Oh. Cool dance. Boom. Okay. I've got some, like, keybind that's, like, changing my bars. It's not ideal. And then what was Earth? Blackwing Descent? It wouldn't be Bastion of Twilight. Then water would have been abyssal depths or uh, whatever it's called. Abyssal more. Bastion of Twilight. There is aim. Yeah, I mean, but like an earth themed raid. Do you know what I mean? I, I guess there wasn't stone core. Yeah, but it's a dungeon. Do you know what I mean? Like a, a proper raid. Like we got throwing the four winds. That's very clearly air. Uh, fire. Firelands. Water, uh, abyssal moor, earth. I don't know what was earth exactly. Maybe there weren't. Were there meant to be four elemental raids, or have I just made this up? I 
Hello, Stu. How are you doing? Back to Bugbane again. Ugh. I wish they had a Wrath Arrow, so you didn't have to do that. What is it? Make it I, uh, I'm... Ooh, blue items. Thinking about writing a video, basically, which is, uh... Yo, Blizz, um... You know, all this stuff is cool and everything, but... Do you want to reconsider error servers? Because I do think there is a demo... I think it... The whole point of Classic is remaking games with how they, they used to be, um, for people who played them back then or want to experience back then. And I, I don't know, it just seems like they're really missing out by not at least making one error server. Ammo was in Caterelli. Ah. It's in Cato when graphics are updated. Um, if you're... Graphics? No. Um... Or maybe they were. But if you're talking about models, then that was Warlords of Draenor. What am I doing here? I think this is like the the big end of starting zone quest here. And we're going to be retaking Gilneas. Uh, surely everything will go well. Go around here. Model, yeah, models with Ward, yeah, yeah. That was the case. Oh, do I have to talk to somebody? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering, like, he's like, down, there isn't much in this battle going on, is there? Is it, he's back out here, then, right? Krennan. Uh, ah, okay. I see, I see. Right, let's get the battle for Gilneas underway. Well met. I wish to join the battle. Oh. Alright. I'm in there. Okay. Wish content creators would use their platform to petition for Wrath Era. Yeah, I, I mean, as I just said, I'm... Like, considering or like working towards making a video which says, Yo, Blaze, you should do this. And I've said several times in the past they should do Wrath Error. Like, I, I, I do think it's a positive. And they're missing out by not doing it. Wait, well, I'm like, I'm a bit lost here. Do I need to jump in the cannon or? Okay. I'm just going to ride around here and see what's going on. Oh, stuck. Might need time. You, d you don't. Oh. Ah. Uh, might not. I'm just going to walk over here and see if it, like, zones me in or, or if it started. You split the game that much, you make the game feel dead because people are on different clients. My hope is that there'd be, there wouldn't be like a crazy amount of people on like the, the older versions of the game and it wouldn't feel too split. What the hell? It's Sylvanas! Huh? I think this is uh, not what it's meant to look like, right? Oh, what is going on? Oh, what is happening? Um, yeah, I'm going to hazard a guess that this is not working as it should be at the moment. Maybe if we just kill Sylvanas, the, the event will complete, right? Right. Get him. Ah, it. It's buggy? Yeah, it seems a little bit. But people have done this, but I, th I think if we just kill her, it'll complete, right? Okay, just all we have to do is take her. Oh, enough. Of course, the enough. Father! Yeah, that is uh, that is not working too well right now. No! Yo, Liam Neeson! 
No! We took back our city. We took back. Oh, this health bar looks fine to me. You'll be okay. Sylvanus is a coward. Holy. On absolutely giga chat. Oh, it completed. Okay, yeah, it did work. <laughs> uh, job done, boys. Yeah, that's probably not what it's meant to look like. Um, and we'll take the uh, cloak. So intellect is now a great stat for casters. If you don't know, intellect will give you spell power. Um, and it's now your primary stat. So you'll be wanting this? to pick up intellect wherever you can do so. So if I pop on this cloak here, uh, you'll see bonus spell damage 23. I put this on 27. Very cool. All right. Oh, crap. Was I meant to follow some guy? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah follow. Lead the way, Mr. Mismantle. Okay, right. Fine, I'll just swim. You stupid anime jump thing. What? Yeah, okay. Hunt for Sylvanas. All right, there's a, a lot of people who seem to uh, be going, I'm just going to follow the crowd. Surely this many people cannot be wrong. I feel like I'm getting a cutscene again. When there's a, when there's a divi uh, like a diversion in the road and somebody goes off another direction and everyone follows them, and it turns out the, <laughs> the way everyone was following is wrong. Um, <laughs> uh, um, I don't think this is meant to be. Oh my god. There's not meant to be this many. So What's a plural of Sylvanas? Uh, this may be a little bit bugged. Yeah, the, Sylv the Sylvani, they're duplicating. Um. So like, uh, oh. Some, some. No power, demon. No power, blood some, and thunder and honor. Uh, let me read the quest real quick. I I have a feeling it's a little bit broken. The war <laughs> war Holden. What do you need? Oh, okay, he's peacing out. What would you ask? I, I think the event's happening. But it's just like giga bugged. Hide in the water. Two other people. Oh, let's toe back. Hit. There he is. He's got the quest guy. Don't mind my enormous steam in there. I'm on a stealth mission. Right, the Sylvanae are leaving. <laughs> Chat, dude, the demon doesn't care. Oh! Oh, you're, yeah, you're meant to hide in the water. So, like... Where's my Tobias gone? Is that my Tobias? Should I just go in the water with him? Get Gavin or get going. What do you mean get Gavin or get going? You're sitting in some water. Also, you're underwater. I'm going to hope this is my Tobias and it's working. I can't see them saying anything either. A druid with him. Walled up for far too long. I think my one is uh, no bueno. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go retake the quest. Ask him how Star. I'm sure Starvin's just fine. I can't imagine him becoming a psychopath or anything. 
I imagine he's a nice guy. Right, let's abandon this and... Oh god, I have to remember where the quest was picked up. Uh, you're asking too much now. That was like a solid three or four minutes ago. Tobias? Okay, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna try this again. Oh, the cabins of time quests. Holy crap. That was bad. You could cheese it, though. He's in position 2515. Two, five, wow. I wish, he was, I wish he was that far forwards in the queue. This will work this time. Ah, okay, yeah, quest text. This is good. I'm listening. Sylvanas is headed to the cathedral. Let's hurry. Okay. I think I just had some bad RNG. I don't know where Tobias went last time. I think I just lost him. Starbun's fine. Did not drive you insane sod at all. Well, that's great to hear. I'm sure it, I, I knew it'd turn out okay. Oh, okay. Everyone in the pool. Just in case, I'm going to dismiss my uh, demon. You have to be actually underwater. What happens if they see you? I do remember the transmog. Oh yeah, yeah, like Ashley said. Yeah, the uh, being able to glyph your uh, Belgard's weapon was not. Garrosh fears he's going to have to carry out this invasion himself. Yeah, true. You can assure Garrosh that this is a minor setback. Our victory in Gelneus will be absolute. You sound very confident, Your Majesty. I seriously hope you do not plan to use the plague. Garrosh has explicitly forbidden it. You do well to watch your tone, General. Neither you nor Garrosh have anything to worry about. Hmm. We've ceased all production of the plague, as he ordered. We'd never deploy it without his permission. That's a cap. I will deliver my report to our leader, then. By your leave. My lady. Go with honor, General. My lady, should I order my men to stop <laughs> the deployment? Three seconds later, before he's left. Or are we to continue as planned? What kind of question is that? Of course we're deploying the plague as planned. Let <laughs> Most subtle on dead moment. Enjoy their small victory. Not even their bones will remain by tomorrow. As you wish. Should take more time to redeem myself, Sylvanas. Yeah, it was a. Uh... You got made war chief, then she went crazy, pretty quick. Has even has anything happened to her in Dragonflight? I haven't been keeping up with it. Yeah, massive lore moment right there. Typ a typical horde, man. You can't trust these skeleton people. One moment they're on the side, next moment, plague. No? Oh. Guess she's uh, just, you know, serving out her eternal sentence of, um, uh, I don't know, chilling in the moor. Uh, yeah, that's where she is. I know my lore. The moor. Yeah, yeah, what Chris said. Make it quick. There we go, Hunt for Sylvanas, done. And I think this is going to be the end of the starting zone, we shall see. A pretty cool uh, starting zone though, I enjoyed that. Oh, that was fun. A, a couple of bugs. Here and there. Um, none of them were absolutely game-breaking for me though. But definitely a few fixes. Oh, we're not quite done yet. So, where am I going? Oh, do I have all this to do yet? Oh, I think I've got a bit a bit to do yet. 
I'm gonna grab some poggers. Yeah, not quite done yet. The top hat. Oh yeah, apart from the top hat. That was um that was criminal. I mean denied my rightful top hat. Find the torch. Uh torch? Um maybe I get it up here. Do I not have a torch? What is this? I'm guessing this is a bit of plague. Not doing any damage though. The captured fell back. Oh right, okay, I just didn't read the quest then. Use that yeah, okay. Didn't read the quest moment. I look on the map and I go to the thing on the map. What if I just do it manually? Right, I'll get XP. It'll be good. Riding bat. Right, I think it was over here, right? Zero XP. Very unfortunate. Yeah, they'll, they'll have like changed the mobs where you can't get XP, right? Because you're designed to do it with some uh, vehicle. <laughs> uh, right, yeah. Bell bat, riding bat. It's a bat, isn't it? Um, where the bat at? Oh, there he is. Shadow, the shadow bolt. Be I've never heard anyone say them. That's a fluffy shadow bolt you've got there. Wait, am I? Oh, I thought it was in full control of the bat then. Yeah, bat is bat. Tell the bat that. I can't believe you hurt his feelings. Does he look very fell to you? Apart from his kind of green eyes and evil look. Oh, it's pretty quick at least. If you're gonna give me a vehicle quest, uh, man, this is this is the this is what vehicle quest should be. Man, that took like ten seconds. This is great, fluffy vault. Yeah, all the same to you. What the hell? Can't believe you'd say that. Yeah, ten seconds. That was that was the best vehicle quest I've ever done in my life. I was getting, you know that quest in TBC when you got in the, uh, I don't know if you have it as the Horde, well, the one we have to go and blow up the, uh, ah, this is the torch you're on about. The, um, quest, it's like on the Netherwing shelf or something in the northwest of Hellfire. Okay, I think we're getting out the starting zone here. This is the bit with the torch, yeah? I'll put you there. Uh, let me, uh, before I go yeeting myself off the edge. Is the tunnel over here? Oh, I see it. There, right? Down by the stairs, okay. Is it? <laughs> well, this is, uh, I'm too used to, like, using add-ons and stuff. The questing. Like, I know the vanilla questing. Ah. And if I, I was, I was, this is why I was checking before I like yeet myself into the water there. Man, this is kind of a uh, spooky, right? Look at all these critters. Right, how much damage do they do just out of interest? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not doing that again. I, I like gave them one second just to see and I lost 20% of my health. Like way too yeah, a bit of a Worgen enjoyer, I see. This is an this is an interesting quest though. 
Hit for one to two, yeah, but when there's like 20 of the little buggers hitting you. Alright, we out. Ah, we live another day. Unearthed mementos. Okay, we'll grab these. Yeah, we out of there. Straight on out. I remember a bit about the goblin zone as well. I feel like you get halfway through the zone and then the zone gets like blown up or something and you have to escape. That's like the biggest TLDR of the goblin starting zone, but I, I feel as though that's what's happened. The yeah, this is this is the underground uh, rat tram. It's way too big. Do you think so? I don't know. Maybe I'll do a uh, do a stream where we play through that as well because I do not remember much about the Goblin Zone either. Don't you get a um, like a mount you drive around in? Second area. I see. Uh, let's head over here. You get a vehicle? Yeah, I, I seem to remember that. Love for the panda zone. Yeah, I thought the panda zone was quite good and, uh, it was interesting, right? Because it was a, a neutral race and you could pick which side you wanted to go on for the first time ever. And like both sides well, gave you good, compelling reasons to join them. Rather than it being you just you join in the world and they come up with some kind of story as to why you're picking that faction. They leave it down to you. You get a go-kart. <laughs> that sounds so goblin. You get a go-kart. Okay, probably not meant to be there. May the light bless the spirits of our ancestors, for they've chosen to allow my son to rest upon this holy ground. It is here, surrounded by the heroes and patriots of Gilneas, where he belongs. You are a true man of the people, Liam. Unlike any royal Speak I Speak up, Lorna. We'll make them pay for this. Gilneas will remember your courage forever, Liam. We'll return, Liam. I swear this to you. Oh, okay. I just, like, hopped back, apparently. Well, All right, man. sweet. Ah, we live another day. Uh, Keel Harbor. So, am I going Stormwind now, or...? Having dark flight's quite nice, actually. I've been getting a lot of use out of this racial. Didn't return till Dragonfly. I was gonna ask whether, like they said, uh, that he'll return. I was gonna ask whether they actually ever brought him back. But uh, yeah, they hit him with a resurrect. A worgen hunter. Yeah, that's a good class fantasy for sure. A voice acting. I don't know, I like, um, I like Greyman. I don't know about Crowley, it doesn't... It, 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 he's not quite selling it for me. Oh, Liam never returned. Oh. Yeah, he's probably a bit... I mean, they returned, um, what was it, Jaina's brother, who had been, like, dead forever. In, um, BFA. Whose name I can't remember now. Y you'll know the one. Yeah, you can always chuck someone a res in this game, I swear. All right, Mr. Crowley. Derek. Yeah, yeah, Derek Proudmore. That's the one. He's a night elf collave thrower. Okay, with vehicle quests. Wahoo! Who am I shooting? Over here. Derek. Derek the warg. Ooh. 
Cool, we've got the big towering ancients. I always feel about weird, weird about this. When you got an elite mob, but then they only, they only gave it 247 health. But really, I can't one-shot them? benefits the most from wargum racials uh things that are mobile and benefit from crit which i think like if you're actually pving wargum aren't a bad race in kata like in general but things tend to be a bit more balanced the outlier is it's not really on the alliance more so than the uh horde with troll and stuff what the snipe Biomage. Yeah, again, if, if it's something that loves to crit stuff, then you're probably going to be good. Uh, so Warrior 2, I would assume. Fire Mage. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't have like a good answer. What'll be interesting, right, is... Um, so, this is something I made a video about ages ago. Like, it must be a good year ago now. I use this. Oh, look at that. So, uh, Horde, um, on Horde you have this race called Troll, and they have this racial called Berserking, and it's, like, very overpowered, and it has been kind of forever. And back in the day in Kata, a lot of the, I think all of the top guilds were Horde, and if they weren't Horde, they ended up re-rolling and Mop and, and Wad and Legion as content started to get harder. And eventually, a lot of people because of this, ended up rolling Horde, whether or not they really wanted to. And this is going to kind of repeat itself, where if you're like a high-end player and you want to give yourself the best chance of clearing the raid, if you have half your raid being troll and having berserking, it does end up being an advantage. And I, I don't think they're going to change that. I don't think they're going to change that at all. I feel like no one's talking about it either, but I would be so surprised if they did change it. New change will make troll racial better. Yeah, I think it's... Is it 20% haste in Kata? 20% like haste on demand is like so crazy good. Are you thinking about the sprint? It should be good in PvP. Yeah, for sure. Uh, for sure, yeah. Uh, but... Alliance have human, and they have a trinket, um, which is, like, separate from everything else. So if you're PvPing, human is still very good, as far as I remember. Make it a vanilla one again. The vanilla one was more thematic, too, right? Because it's, like, the whole idea about the, the, the troll berserker is that as they lose health, they become more powerful. Whereas berserking now just turns into press the button, attack fast. And um, it is very powerful. Um, and I mean, back in the day, people did start to go hoarder at the top end because of this. What am I going to have for dinner? Finally, someone with a good question. I'm probably going to have some lasagna, Vigo. I've got some lasagna left over from yesterday with a nice bit of bread. And I think I have some vegetables too. Bit of broccoli and peas. Mm, very nice. Based. Whoa. Lasagna's S tier food. Gun am I am I doing mount quests again? End game. Whoa. Got Thanos up in here. Stop between playing Kata Classic or getting into Final Fantasy XIV for the first time with the new expansion. What do I do? And if it a classic, you main healer. What healer is reliable? I mean, I, I couldn't really say much about Final Fantasy XIV. I played it a couple years ago when it was popular, but not too much. Um, you're on a channel of someone who makes videos about World of Warcraft with people who watch, who play World of Warcraft. So most people are going to probably say, wow. Um, but the game's not out yet. So it's kind of hard to say. Um, I don't know which, how much you played either game before, but you'll probably have a character to level up. So maybe you could try, try each game in advance and see which one you feel out more. 
Um, but yeah, it's, it's a tough one to uh, get into. And if you main healer, what healer is reliable? In Kata, I would say Holy Paladin. But yeah, there's there's that's like pretty meta. If you're just getting into the game, there's not really like a best or worst healer. You just pick the one you think looks good and you, that you enjoy. Um, so yeah. Is it going to make a lot of money with half the Warlock Discord race changing to troll? On Horde, like literally Tor and Druids are going to like, you know that Simpsons meme when Homer goes back into the hedge and then reappears? It's going to be like Torans go into the hedge and reappear as troll, I swear. There is going to be an enormous amount of re-rolling on the Horde. Like chicken pesto? I've never liked pesto. It the, the, way, the thing I've always said about pesto is it, it tastes too green. Like it looks green, it tastes very green. I, I don't know how to describe it. That's the best I can do for you. Oh, alright. Oh, my foul guard! Um, there we go. Holy. This is the music that fights when you're playing when you're fighting lich uh, plays when you're fighting Lich King. Yeah, my foul guard is straight up not having a good time here. No <laughs> pesto's mid. Ah, uh, yeah, I've just, I've never liked it. I've never liked it. Do we have to drop down? Yeah, drop. There's ropes here. I think we. Do I hold on to a rope and like eat myself on the ship? Make it quick. Ain't you a chipper looking one? Greymane will lead us to victory. Okay, but like, can Greymane uh, lower me down onto the ship though? Let me, uh... Hmm. Not sure. Come together nicely. Yeah, I'm, uh... Oh, secure the rafters. Okay, let's, um, let's go over here. Are there any orcs to kill? She'll tell you to rope down. Okay, we'll, we'll wait. We'll, we'll wait a moment, then. I want two sharpshooters to stay behind and cover the deck. Everyone else, use the ropes to repel down. Let's give them hell. Ooh, the epic music. Okay, can I, uh... Oh. Okay, um... Uh, I I've repelled too much. Repel me back. <laughs> Another guy went as well. Oh, no. Uh, I, I don't think this is meant to happen. Um, yo, can you... Oh, one more. I give that an 8 out of 10. Can we get any others? <laughs> that is the... Wait, wait. I thought I saw another. Yeah, that is a... Uh, that is a, a little bit of a bug. If I uh, dare say so. Do I have to do I have to bug report on the quest or? Alright, so um when wrap Bug reported. Right, where am I at? Yeah, I'm just going to have to res here and run back over. I, I didn't see everyone fall, so I think it's kind of RNG. So I'll just go try that again. You cannot command me. Temps away. Did I get durability loss for that? I did as well, Blizzard. I demand to be recompensed. Welcome to yeah, oceanic flight. If I survive jumping, I think I would with that distance. You know, like I was eyeballing the distance, and I was like, mm, I can probably make that. 
But yeah, there was there was there was like me and there was some other guy that fell. There was another druid, and then I think there was another one or two people, and they uh, they were fine. So I think I just jumped down. We'll try that again. I could use some shards though. I need to. I didn't train a soul. Uh, soul harvest. It's, it's always soul something or other with warlocks. I mean, I would. There's a, there's a perfectly good soul there, but everyone would be angry, so I'll, I'll, I won't. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again. This time it shall work. I'll, I'll wait till the, the text happens, then I'll just jump down, and hopefully I land on the ship and I don't go flying through it and just die. Okay. Or maybe I wait to see what other people do. If other people are successful, I might give it another go, but <clears throat> we'll see. Okay, so we're back up here. Drop down. Kill orcs. Holy crap, he just one-shot it. Everyone's doing some... Everyone's doing like a billion damage. I'm playing the worst class in the game. Holy. I think I can survive that. I agree. If I hop off there and land on here, I live with like 20% health. Ish. On a good day. Yeah, so this is what I mean. It's like every time there's a beta for this game, people are like, oh, why they got to do beta? Can't they just re release it? And it's like, yeah, if you play the game, you, you kind of realize why they're doing this because, uh, damn it, buggy. Not sure I have an instant attacks. I suppose, but when things have got enough health to be one shot, then, uh, doesn't feel the best for me, does it? Oh, I like the dress. Where'd you get that? You know, it's awkward when you show up in the same outfit, isn't it? Secure the rafters. Uh, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I want two sharpshooters to stay okay. behind. Everyone else, repel down. I am not going to repel down, if that's okay. You see, he's just jumped. He lives that easily, right? Um. Wait. I'm trying not to overdo it on the jump. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, do, uh, yeah. Pro tip: do not repel. Warning, warning. In cat form. He won't have safe fall. You don't get safe fall this early. Uh, even in Kata, I'm confident of that. You don't get to like level 30 something. Whoa. We're taking off. The rest of you, follow me downstairs. Okay. If I follow you downstairs, I'm not gonna like fall off the ship, am I? You now know? Oh no, you didn't just yeet yourself, did you? Green skins? Yeah, what the what the hell? Lorna, chill. Don't gotta be this way. As long as somebody else is like going in front of me, then I'm okay. And we're moving at the same time. All oh, the wyverns. Oh, you're saying about wyverns? I guess we need to do the scripted event to kill the gunship. Just hold them off. They look. They look pretty held off to me. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to have to worry about holding them off. That's one big orc. Lorna, there is no orc. Um, <laughs> is it bugged again? This quest seems extremely broken, by the way. <laughs> uh, Lorna, there ain't no orc. 
Hopefully, she, she, we fast forward. She's like, oh, the orc's dead. Let's leave. It's about to blow. Jump on the wyverns. Say no more. I want to see someone else take a wyvern before I take one. Um. Oh. Okay. I, I didn't click on the wyvern then, by the way. So that part of the quest script, I guess, is working because it like it doesn't want to fail you there. It just like auto turns it in. And I'm fl flying away gracefully. Okay, I've got control back now. Currently farming 0.5. And paranoid, you're gonna lose your chance on these. Once Cata's out, yeah, they they tier 0.5 does get removed in Cata. I think. I think you're correct on that. I'm gonna make a video about this soon. By the way, all the stuff get that gets removed in Cata. Okay, so quest complete. Yeah, please don't catapult. I was worried. Um, I have a feeling that they might be keeping some stuff in cat that was originally removed in the game. Let me show you this post I saw a while ago. Um, so this is a post I saw on Wowhead before cat are released. Get tier five from Dark Moon Fair. Actually, yeah, I think you're right. But it's like a lot of effort, right? When you can get it now and it's easier. I think you might be right about the Dark Moon. I, I can't check that at the moment, but in regards to things being removed from the game, um, I found this post before the release of... This is before Kata was announced at BlizzCon. This is like one of many reasons I was so sure it was going to be... It was going to come back. Because like, this is this is just before BlizzCon. It's like, bringing back open world lost transmogs to Cataclysm. It's like, huh, why could they be restoring these items now? This is so surprising. And, um... But yeah, they, they start bringing back a bunch of transmogs. So I don't know if they're going to remove everything that they removed back in the day. Um, but all the same, I don't want to make a video about stuff which they did remove in case people wanted to farm it now. That stuff like um, tier 0.5, like I think it's on Darkmoon Fair. Um, what else is there? There's the, obviously there's the ZG mounts. The shirts from the starting zones, they're all removed. They were put back in the game in Legion, I believe. There's so many items from specializations um, from... Uh, professions from weaponsmithing, armor smithing. There's the uh, Quell Sabra, that's gone. There's Benediction or an Anathema. The uh, quest times for that are gone. But if you have the quest times, you can still do it. Um, Rocks de la, Locks de la, that's gone too. But yeah. They they might restore them. They might put them back in the game. They might not. We we just don't know. I have a feeling since they've, they've like already gone to the efforts of doing this that they might restore them in counter as well but yeah we'll see uh right let's handle listen uh, and we get to level 13 everybody on board the ships i think this is it admiral nightwind i'm gonna ha Go to Rutheran Village. Yeah, this is it. So that was the Worgen Starter Zone. Drink ZL and CG will gone in pre-patch. Uh, Val Valamir, I don't think they will. I think they won't be gone until Firelands. And I remember seeing an interview where they like hinted at that, and I cannot find it again. So I could have, I could have like made it up because I look at so much data in regards to the game, but I don't think they're going to remove them until Firelands, or if they do some interim patch between the two. Which I think they will do, by the way. As like, ZAZG will become, they'll come between tier 11 and 12. Yeah, 
And that's it. That was the full Worgen starting zone. So a, pr a, a few pretty bad bugs. They were removed at launch. Ah. Oh, I'm so unsure. Because like the, the, the data will still exist. But it's like are they going to remove them again? Well met. Holy crap this looks so different. I was like wait am I in... Am I in this are in Rotheron Village? It looks so different. Ah. Good old Darnassus though. I remember this. I don't remember floating sentinels though. Oh Hippogriff Rider. Yeah, she's um So they'll, they'll have the unit ID. They'll be able to know which one it is. Like each individual unit will have an ID uh, within the game. Yeah, I, d I don't remember her. And of course you have the hero's call board now. You can just talk to this and it'll say, yo, uh, you can't find where's your quest? Go to here. Uh, for example, it's like, go to Darkshore. You stopped at the same mob, yeah. That's uh, that, that, that's one of those moments when you're like, "Huh, I don't think you should be floating." I'm pretty sure you're not meant to float. I oh, remember when this was like phase one season of Discovery. Everyone would be here. I swear they nerfed this jump as well. You used to be able to jump up here in season of Discovery and get to the mailbox. Wait, can I not do this? Can't even do it anymore on this. The best part, though, and if they could have put this in season of discovery, it's like, what? Why do? Why do you have to run all the way back? It just seems so unnecessary. What have we got in the auction house? What's the highest level item? Grim Reaper. What's this polearm? Ooh. Glyph of Backstab. I can't, I can't believe there's stuff on the auction house, really. Oh, is the mailbox so tall? Um, it looks about right to me. Yes, this seems about right. Actually, maybe it is kind of big. Maybe that is kind of... Ah, you know, it's, it's visible. I'll do it again. Anyways. Yeah, I'm meant to be eight feet tall. Have, oh, one more thing. Have you seen how absolute units the Worgens are on the um, character creation screen? Specifically for DKs. Like, you look at any other classes DK, they're like same size. Same size, basically. Same size. Worgen DKs are absolute units. Like, look at the size of her. It's the same though with the uh, male ones. <laughs> they're just enormous. Like, have they always been this big? Same with no like Blood Elf, they're the same size, Troll, same size. Wargun, it's like holy crap, this guy's a unit. I don't know why they're so big, but they are. <laughs> but yeah, it's like pick me, I'm the biggest class, I'm the best class. Yeah, that is a that is a big Wargun. Wargun DK. He's looking pretty ferocious. And the human form seems about right. It's just walking DKs for some reason are inexplicably enormous. Inside scoop on a pre-patch day? I have no idea. If I had to guess, um, a late May-ish. You still got you still got a fair while ahead of you waiting. Isn't this when druids, rogues took over in PvP? If you're talking about druids and rogues, um, they like feral and sub are very good. Yes. But there's uh, a lot of options for PvP and Kada for sure. Talk, 
four males at ten foot tall. Holy. They'd actually be... And they're not even standing up, like, fully straight. Look at this guy. This guy's this tall. Worgen DK is, like, filling up the entire page. And Boonkin. Yeah, and PvP Boonkin is also... They have some spec where you just run around pressing Moonfire, pretty much. But yeah, that, is our, that was the starter zone for the Warlock on the Worgen today. Um, there's, yeah, there's definitely a few bugs. Um, everything's not working perfectly yet. Um, as always, if you do want to opt into the beta, um, these characters will not be forever. They will just exist during the beta. So like, it's just kind of for fun if you want to do it at the moment. Um, I've just put some link where you can opt in there. And um, yeah, you just opt in. They seem to be sending tons of invites and out now. So uh, yeah, just opt in if you want to. Hopefully you get on and you can uh, check it out and have some fun yourself in advance of everything launching. Uh, later on today, I have the first of the kind of class videos for Cataclysm coming out. And it will be about the Druid. It's 29 minutes long. It's a pretty sizable video. And I've also got the Hunter one, which is being edited at the moment and will hopefully be out no later than next Friday. Should be one per week. Um, which, hopefully, fingers crossed, I, I, I will have everything done pre-release. It's, it's going to be a lot of work, but uh, I'll have everything done pre-release. These class videos always are. Uh, but yeah, everyone, thank you so much for dropping by, checking out the game. We only had two people who felt the need to drop in and say this is bad. So, you know, I think that's a pretty good average. Um, yeah, I do appreciate a lot, everyone dropping by. Um, for the streams, for the most part, I don't think I'm going to be doing that much Cataclysm. It'll probably be Season of Discovery for the, the average stream, but I'll, I'll make it pretty obvious from the thumbnail and stuff. So if you see a stream and it's like whatever version of WoW you prefer, you can see what it is and you can check it out if you want to, right? Um, but yeah, that's me for today. I'm going to go get myself some lasagna. Very nice. Anyways, this is why you walk. Hey, enjoy your walk. It's... Uh, could be of exercise, of course. Starter zone. I could probably do the goblin one next time. It's just um, been going for a bit. And uh, yeah, maybe we, on Tuesday we can check out the goblin zone. And hopefully everything will be working well. But guys, th yeah, again, thank you all so much for tuning in. Video out tonight. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, your afternoon, your evening, whatever it may be. Your weekend, all that good stuff. Video out later tonight. Um... Yo, oh, and Ashley, you're going in straight before I end as well here. With the ten dollars, yo man, I appreciate that so much. That is uh, super kind. I don't know if the thing has shown up for it yet. I'll just hang on a moment. Entertaining to the extreme, yeah. You're probably you're getting to see some guy that's like not played the Worgen starter zone for fourteen years trying it out again. Um, which is uh. Yeah, it's definitely an experience. I thought it was a pretty fun starting zone, though, like minus the bugs where you have to like parkour through the air or you instantly die when you try and repel and stuff like that. For the most part, it was good, though. <clears throat> yeah, I think on the on the Tuesday, which is when I would typically next stream, we can check out the Goblin Zone. So there seems to be a good amount of content in them. I feel like the Goblin Zone lasts a bit longer as well when it happens. Um, yeah, I think it goes on for quite a few levels and stuff. And we can try it. We could try a different race with our goblin as well. Maybe the warrior, because they get the rage normalized, so it could be interesting too. There we go, the thing, actually. Yo, actually, again, I appreciate it. Super chat of the 10. Thank you so much. Is that super generous? Oh, Magical Mysterium as well. Yeah, you've been like super active throughout the entire stream. You've been like helping me out when I get lost uh, and I like run off to do some quests without reading the text. Now you drop a 50 at the end, man. Holy crap. That is, that is super generous. Like, really. I appreciate it a lot. Um, and I, I hope I hope I can do you justice with the class videos and stuff when I get around to doing those. Because it should be a, it should be a good few hours of content overall. As I say, the the, the druid one was about twenty nine minutes. The um, I have the hunter one written up. That's about eighteen minutes, but it's a pure DPS class, so the DPS ones 
always lasts a bit a bit less in general, right? There it is popping up. Again, man, that's that's super generous. Um, I don't know what to say. Glad I could, you know, be part of your day. And I'm glad you enjoyed as well. Uh, but yeah, I tend to stream around, you know, the time when I went live today. Uh, it should be 4 p.m. Cent uh, Central European time. I think that's 7 a.m. Pacific, 10 Eastern on the Friday and Tuesday. Usually most Fridays and Tuesdays, depending what is going on. And Catabata so far, been pretty good. Yeah, we can check out the VOD and see what we got up to today. There's a bit of a visual bug on this page too. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Um, again, thank you all so much for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, definitely sign up to the beta, opt in if you want to get access to it. I put the link in the chat a little bit ago. And yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. There's been some bugs, but yeah, we'll see. You're Australian? Oh, yeah, 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 the, the 50 Australian dot. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, but again, I appreciate it. Anyways, I have to go off because I'm kind of starving. But yeah, guys, I'll be back around the Tuesday and we'll carry on from there, do some more leveling. I want to do the Goblin starting zone off there and we'll see where I get to with there. You and Scotty. Uh, Scotty's a good bloke as well. Nice fella. Anyway, guys, never stop yapping before I keep on going of like the <laughs> longest outro. But yeah, again, yo, Ashley and Magistical as well. I appreciate the support so much. It's super generous. Yeah, I think that's everything about everything I've got to say. Video out tonight. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, yeah, thanks all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Very soon.